What is up? Welcome, welcome, everyone. Uh, I think tonight I'm going to try something a little different here. Um, you know, I don't want to burn you guys out too much with like the let's plays like every other night. You know, and actually that that brought up a point. You know, I I don't want to burn you guys out in general when it comes to uh, just me streaming in general. So I, I might throttle it down a little bit to where I'm not streaming every other night. But I'm thinking maybe just like three streams like a week might be like a perfect balance. Just so like myself included, just so nobody gets burnt out on the whole thing. But uh, welcome, welcome. Let's see who we got in chat. Desri, welcome Desri. Sorry, I, sorry I'm not going to be uh, streaming on the server tonight. I, you know, and you know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do a little bit. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's Crows. What's up, Crows? Hello, everyone. Hello, Barton. Didn't miss you this time. Yep, nope. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm doing something different. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm thinking, cause I had a really good time streaming, like how I, uh, came up with the idea for, uh, for that sandstone workshop or the Stygian workshop that I did. So I think we're probably going to do just that portion of the stream tonight, but maybe with a bigger build or multiple builds, I haven't decided yet, but, uh. Just so you guys kind of have a an insight on on how I come up with some of these these builds, so we're either going to be successful and come up with some decent builds that I can actually turn into uh, uh, actual videos, or we ain't going to come up with anything at all. Because you know how I am, I get chatting away and then I forget what I'm talking about, and then it just it just goes south from there. But uh, but yeah, so as always, you know, I love using this big flat area for. Uh, uh, just to kind of experiment with builds because you know once you come up with a build you can find a location that you can plant uh plant that build at you know it just it just might take a little bit more creativity uh create creativity or creative work i don't know something like that i i just woke up so like i have been busy all day and i, get, I finally got home around it's probably around four and I'm like, man, I'm just exhausted. And like, I kept on putting off because we got brand new, a brand new uh, internet thing. And I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just do it tomorrow. And I was like, you know, what? I keep telling myself that it's been like a week. So you know, I'm just gonna do it now. So hooked that up, and that was, you know, causing some problems. So I had to call Comcast, and you know, that took for a, that took a minute. So it was about an hour worth of just, you know, stupidness. So I finally got everything hooked up, and I, you know, I'm I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to stream because just the issues with the internet. But finally got it working and everything. And after that, I'm like, you know what? I'm exhausted. I just I, I need to crawl in bed for a nap or something. So I crawled into bed and then uh, just woke up. I looked over at the clock and it's like, oh, you go live in 15 minutes. Like, oh crap! I so I am freaking starving right now. Like I I'm still kind of tired, but. Uh, I was like, I got to get everything situated real quick. And so I'm kind of winging it at the moment. Everything just kind of got thrown together. And I was like, oh, boy, what do I want to do tonight? So I just came up with this idea just on the fly. So that's kind of what's uh, what's going on at the moment. Let's see. Desiree, I'm going to run and get some food. I'll BRB. You know, that doesn't sound half bad. So, you know, I, I might uh, take a short break this stream uh, just so I could at least put a little bit of, put a little bit of food down. But uh, that's probably not going to be for another hour, hour and a half. So uh, let's see. Jim Wise, hey, B, what you doing in SIPTA? So, uh, so, so tonight I think I'm going to do like a let's build and just show an experimental uh, phase of just coming up with a build. So we're either going to be successful or not. But, uh, you know, rather than talking your guys' ears off, uh, I think I, you know, I think I'm going to start, you know, at least just with something. Um and then if you guys have any ideas or anything along the way, feel free to, you know, feel free to message them out because, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try it out. You know, this, like I said, this is just going to be an all experimental stream. You know, the objective is to come up with, you know, a build or multiple builds. And the, the more I'm leaning on it, the more I'm leaning on it, I'm thinking uh, like uh, some tiny houses because I, cause I got a... Uh, a build that I'm working on at the moment that I'm, I'm going to need some some houses to uh, to populate this build, and I got to scale them down slightly. So they're going to probably be like the tiny house range. So I'll, you know that might be 
that might be where we're probably going to start. <clears throat> and, you know, don't mind these things because uh, those are still works in progress too. So, uh, yeah, I, I use this for, for multiple. And I actually, before the stream, like within 15 minutes, it was just crazy because I had to throw on some clothes real quick, figure out what we were doing for dinner, uh, come into this world and kind of clean up this area a little bit because it was just scattered with, you know, with other builds. And, uh, it was, yeah, it's just been, it's just been a mess so far. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, going back probably like, uh, some tiny houses just so we can get them down just so I can throw those in, you know, an upcoming project. But, uh, I'm thinking more like medieval. I don't know if I want to do like the Yamatai walls or maybe the, uh, the frontier ones. Cause the frontier has, uh, some awesome interior walls if, if, if you flip them around like the the wooden stuff looks awesome for like an exterior uh exterior panel so like you got like the window which i just love that color brown and then you got these walls which to be honest i wish the walls were like the same color as this because it makes it a little bit more difficult when it comes to building some of the exterior stuff because i don't like placing a bunch of these all together because it just looks real repetitive and just i don't know to me it just doesn't look that great oh there's splash cat welcome to the stream splash cat Let's see sunsea experimental like college in the 60s yeah i don't know what that means but we'll, we'll go with it we'll go with it jim wise i was thinking of modifying your imperial manor to be smaller but connected to create a courtyard in the middle and that would be kind of cool too you know, and like that's that's the the awesome part about a lot of my builds that I do is you know, uh, a lot of them could be scaled down. So the temple in, that I got going on in uh, in Shalebridge right now for my streaming base, that was uh, that temple of set, uh, the Stonebrook Temple of Set, I think is what I called it. But I scaled that down a little bit, and it still it turned out passable. I thought you know, especially for the stream. It, Trying to put the topper on it was horrible, but I finally figured it out. But uh, it didn't look bad. But yeah, uh, that wouldn't look terrible, I wouldn't think. And you know, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to come visit my next uh, let's play. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna have to come visit your base just to check it out. Cause I, I like I said, I, I love seeing what you guys come up with. It's just so awesome. And you know, sometimes you guys inspire me for uh, for certain builds too. You didn't have to throw on clothes. You know. <sighs> I, I shouldn't have, you know, last stream I was in a uh, dress shirt and tie, so it would have made sense from going one end of the spectrum to the other, you know, just straight, just free balling it. Well, heck, not even free balling, just straight, uh, straight birthday suit for the stream. But yeah, anyway, here I am getting carried away talking. You guys came here to watch me build. So, uh, let's see, probably going to start off the bottoms with like the arena set. Let's see if we can sync this. There we go kind of elevate just slightly because uh what's gonna happen and i don't even know what i want to do you know i'm probably starting off a little bit too too advanced a lot of times i'll build it with uh with actual foundations first before i do all the fancy work but just kind of give you guys an idea uh let's see here let's do the pillar trick let's actually add pillars on the sides of these uh these corners there's a cool trick that you can do uh that really spices up a bottom of a build. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second once I get these pillars placed. And you know what? I'm, I'm kind of curious to, to see what the uh, what my wife chose for for dinner tonight. I, you know, when I when I was rushing, I was like, you know what? I, I don't care. She's like, do you want me to make something or you know order uh, order something? I was like, you know, I I, have, I don't care. I was like, you just surprise me. Shoot me a message when when it's here, and I'll I'll, I'll uh, take a short break. But yeah, so anyway, so we got these corners placed. Um, you add these, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, if you add these stairs to the bottoms like this, let me go all the way around real quick. And for whatever reason, the pillar obstructs the, uh, the rotation for this piece. So, uh, you know, an easy fix, you know, if you just place walls, you can go back around with the actual door frames, and then uh, it'll allow you to adjust whatever way you need it. Just for if you guys, you know, ever run across an issue where you actually can't place your uh, uh, a certain piece, or at least rotate it. 
this is kind of the workaround to it. But yeah, so so you got this for like the underneath, which you know that to be honest, that doesn't look half bad by itself. But if you actually use these uh, arena vaulted corner pieces and uh, uh, the other ones, the vaulted whatever these are, yeah, just the regular vaulted ceilings, you can go around. You can use the back face of the uh, of these pieces, and you can kind of fill in like the walls right here. And, you know, first off, you have to have, like, the arena ceilings placed because that allows you to place the door frames. But uh, once you get everything placed like this, yeah, you can go back through and you can place all these. You know, I don't know if I like those bleeding through. We might we might change those here. Uh, let's see. I wonder what this would look like. Okay, those bleed through too, but those aren't as obvious, so that, that doesn't look too bad. And, you know, we might be able to, to hide a lot of that with, uh, with rugs and other pieces or, or you, know, you know, just something. Uh, let's see. Splash Cat Studios. Oh, yeah, how was your interview? Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let me, let me answer some of the other stuff. We'll get to that. Okay, so I walk in on Barton saying he should be in his birthday suit. Yeah, we're we're talking about my uh my my OnlyFans page that I'm that I'm working on at the moment. No nobody clipped that. There there's there's nothing in the works on that. Uh, let's see what you building tonight. Uh, you know that's uh, steel. That's a that's a good question. That's what we're trying to figure out. So I think right now you know probably like more of like a medieval because it it might be multiple builds but like a medieval style, uh like a tiny house or just buildings that I can put into one of the builds I'm working on at the moment. So, you know, if I get a couple of these builds, you know, I could work on that while also streaming at the same time. Just not two birds out with one stone because, you know, I, I, I want to get a project that I'm working on. Let's see, what's today? Say Friday. I want to get it out by Monday. But, like, it's just it's just a lot at the moment. So, I figure, you know, I'll, I'll be streaming for a couple hours so I can at least get the jump on, you know, some certain builds. And just kind of explain the process as I go. And, you know, who knows? You guys might be uh, inspired to put together... Or at least, you know, come up with some ideas for, you know, some of the builds we're doing. See, Master Barton, Shalebridge has seen some improvements, signed the cook. I, I seen that. I got on today, and I, and I just was met by a giant billboard right in front of my bed. So I did check the notes, and I used them. So if that was you, I appreciate it. I feel like I'm going to have to take notes during this stream. Already learning something. Yeah, um, we're probably going to do crazy ton amount of uh some of the different techniques um and if you don't have it if you're if you're building unmodded the writers of hyboria dlc is awesome for non-modded builds because there's some pieces that kind of it's glitch building it allows you to do some really really cool uh things with some of the pieces but it's the writers of hyboria dlc it's the stable set it just has the best pieces to, you know, for glitch building and all that stuff. If you don't have it, I, I definitely recommend getting it. Let's see, cover the floor entirely with rugs. Could do that too. Could do that too. I'd love to see you try to make a witch's hut. Yeah, you know, I see for like the witch's hut, you know, I might try something. I would think that would be easy though. Because, you know, it'd just be more like a, like a shack that's just kind of thrown together. But I don't know. I said that with the Ewok village and that turned out to be a nightmare. So <laughs> I don't know. Let's see, build a census and excise office from Sadanine. Um, that's not the build coming up, but that might possibly be in the works as well. So I can confirm nor deny. Can confirm nor deny that. So anyways, so let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, interview. Interview went good. Um, I interview horribly, so like I don't think I did a good job at all. Like To be honest, I think I bombed the interview, but uh, I moved on in the process. So... Uh, uh, I got to go through some kind of retirement thing, and that's going to take anywhere from uh, from six weeks to three months before I'm actually cleared for the job. So uh, I'm just going to kind of take that time and just stream and work, you know, just hammer out all my YouTube stuff. So uh, <laughs> that, that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at at the moment with that. Uh, OK, so, you know, I'm kind of liking this. So let's. Let's add a front porch onto this. So we're going to come out here. And actually, we're going to go back to arena. Yeah, that'll work. And actually, let's uh, let's support this too. And let's place our... Uh, 
Oh, you know what? I can. So we're gonna we're gonna do this again here because we can uh, we can add this piece right here that kind of gets in right here. But this side's open. But what we can do from this side, we can uh, we can cover that with stairs. Oh crap! You know what? There's that. Uh, well, you know what? I don't know. Ah, you know, I don't know if I like that. All right, let's delete that. I think we just might do this just to kind of distinguish, like, from the outside of the build. You have, you know, this uh, this style texture, but as soon as you get inside, it's more smooth and, and whatnot. It doesn't look as weathered. So we'll just do that. Let's see, that doesn't look half bad either. You know what? Maybe we can just go with a regular foundation piece. Yeah, that works. Here we are trying to be complex and, you know, sometimes basic. Sometimes basic is good. But uh, now that we got all that stuff placed, we can go around the bottom. And we can uh, connect these uh, these wall pieces and door pieces to here. That'll go all the way around just so we have something closed off. Oh, there's Ninja. What's up, Ninja? Welcome to the stream. Oh, that's exciting. Good job, Barn. Yeah, you know, like I said, I, I, I just interview horribly. So, like, when I got out of that, I'm like, oh, that's that, that, that was not good. But uh, moved on to the next round. So, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm excited about that part. I'm, I'm just so glad. Let's see. All right. So, we're going to have to get up here to the second floor. So, we're going to add yeah, we're gonna add some stairs. And, you know, a lot of this architecture might look similar to some of the, the previous builds that I've, that I've done. Because, uh, like, uh, Kaya's medieval castle. I really loved uh, the the buildings within the the walls of that castle. Those turned out awesome. Good to hear. Er, red. Oh, yep. Yeah, Ninja's doing good. Yeah, Ninja. I'm uh, I'm just kind of experimenting right now on uh, on just some builds. You know what? Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. So, I think we're gonna do a round tower that's gonna branch that's gonna branch out. And uh, we got to get this tower to connect to this. But we can't build off of this because we're on technically two separate grids. We're, it's technically two separate buildings on two separate grids. So it's like, how do we get this to where we could branch out to here? And, you know, we could do that one of two ways. Um, I'm just going to build down with pillars real quick. And then, boom, just like that. And then uh, let's do the bottom with arena. So now our, our arena pieces, they're going to uh, they're going to be on the same the same grid pattern. So the bottom matches the top. I don't know if that's going to be extended out way too far. And you know what? That that might look all right. So we're actually going to use the uh, the pillar trick again on these corners. But uh, before we do the arena stuff, because uh, these arena pillars are a little bit too thick to where they can prevent placement of certain pieces, we're actually going to go to the stable. Uh, and we're going to use the stable pillar. So this is one of the first things that I recommend uh, for uh, getting the Riders of Hyboria DLC is the pillars alone. Because the pillars are just like super skinny to where they don't obstruct really any placement of any of the uh, any of the other pieces. So you can get away with placing, uh, placing these down and then just going back through and changing them up later. Which that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's get them back on these corners. Go to each of these sides. I don't know why I just didn't do that last time. I had added an extra step in the whole thing. Yeah, I feel a, a lot better too. Like last stream, I was pretty worn down too. Like by th towards the end, I was like, "Man, I'm just ready to go to bed." So I, you know, I I, I wasn't really feeling feeling it last stream. So I, I probably came off as like a freaking jerk or something. I don't know. Let's see. Ninja, did you get the job? Um, so uh, I, I believe I got a conditional job offer pending. Uh, uh, like It's like a retirement exam thing, so I got to hop through some hoops with that. So uh, as long as I pass that, it sounds like I got it. Uh, but that's going to take anywhere from six weeks to three months. So in the meantime, you know, you guys, you guys have me, you know, streaming and pumping out a, a ton of uh, YouTube content. Let's see here. Black Ice Foundations, when you hide the spikes, are the best-looking cut stone tops to me. Well, let's see what we got here. 
You know, and like, I'm not huge into the black ice set. How do you hide the spikes? Like, you really got to sink it down to hide the spikes. Yeah, I don't know. I'd just rather just do this and either go stable or, uh, you know, stable actually might look, not look half bad. I, I love the stable fence foundations. Yeah, that doesn't look terrible. Actually, you know, we might even delete those now. We don't no longer need those under there. Yeah, I don't like. I don't mind the, the. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. We might change these out, guys. Actually, you know what? Here I am talking about it. I, I kind of like the stable pieces. So you know, we're gonna come back through here. We're gonna change out the floors. And here I am saying like how awesome this looks. You know, <laughs> with uh, the different textures and everything. And here we are just changing them out. We're gonna change out these uh, these stable pillars too, just so they're not bleeding through the floor. But uh, yeah, we're gonna delete these and we're gonna we're gonna change this out with the the stable pieces. I, I really like, just like the the wooden trim with the 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 cut stone just looks so nice. And I wish there was more pieces to the uh, the stable stuff, like slanted walls and uh, just you know a proper gate piece. You know, it's they're seriously lacking a lot of. Uh, a lot of needed pieces to make this set just awesome. Just even a regular door instead of the lattice stuff would have uh, would have been pretty awesome too. So long as it doesn't look like Eradication's Tower, you're good. Yeah, I had to traverse that, which was a nightmare. You know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have like helped him advertise. I kind of feel like a jerk for not doing that, too. I, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do after the stream. I'll probably post, like, one of my YouTube notifications and, and advertise his, uh, his build. I still got to get him back. I'm probably going to invite you guys. You know, just a bunch of people into my single player. And, or, you know what? If it's co-op, I wonder how many people I can actually get in my, my, uh, my single player world. But I think it'd be awesome just to have the community. We just all just just pile on and just build just some ridiculous looking thing and he'll have to traverse that. Felipe, hello all. Right, I am Portuguese architect and designer, but really, what do you want to do for sure? Hey, welcome to the uh welcome to the stream man. Um you know that's kind of what we're trying to figure out right now. We're just trying to come up with a uh with an idea. And to be honest, I'm kind of liking the look of this. I think once I get this built up and we get the uh we get the bridge going this this might not look half bad so yeah we're gonna have to go let's see the bridge will come out like this yeah that doesn't look half bad guys that'll connect up into here and actually we're gonna have to place now we'll go wood I'm just gonna throw it in there like you know it, it, it for a main build I would actually rotate you know these pieces to where like the wood all matches up perfectly but you know, to save on time, you know, we're just going to do this. Kind of build these up, too. I don't know if we're going to go up that high or not, but I don't know, just for right now. Um, yeah, that'll work. Let's see if we can get a fit of strut in there. Perfect. Yeah, I just love these strut pieces. So now... Um, so another thing that, another cool thing that you can do, if you use the, uh, the stable, uh, uh, fence gate frame with the pillars, the ones that look like these, you can merge pieces. So you can, you can merge a wall piece or it's, it's a wall window or, or door piece. And you can, you can mix it with a, a fence piece or a crenellation piece. So I think for this, we're going to go, let's see, let's see what Yamatai looks like. Go with the Yamatai pieces. We're going to rotate those to the outer, where the outer face is facing inwards, just like that. And then we're going to come through. I think we're going to play Storm Glass, because I think the, the Storm Glass with the Yamatai just looks so awesome. But before we can do that, because it, it's not going to let us, yeah, it's not going to let us rotate the glass the way we want it. So first off, we're just going to do, we're going to replace the, uh, the stable pieces with the doors. Then we can come back through with the Storm Glass frames, and we can, we can go to where the, uh, the outer face is facing inwards. So it just, it, it creates an awesome, just an awesome looking, you know, this is going to be a covered bridge. So yeah, that'll work. You know what? Let's see. While we're at it, let's put 
Yamatai. If, if if you flip the Yamatai around to where the the interface is just facing outwards, it it, it makes a good medieval style uh, look to it. So you know you, you'll notice me do that a lot in, in my videos, which I'm surprised they haven't released a medieval style you know build set yet. You know it makes sense, but you know that doesn't look half bad, guys. I don't know for it being that low, but you know that you know that might work. I think once we, well, actually, now that we have it built up, let me place these real quick. Yeah, because now that we got it built up, I can uh, I can change out all these to where they're not obstructing the placement of uh, my wall pieces and whatnot. And this just kind of gives us that just that extra. That extra look too, you know. Without these pillars, I'm sure it'd still look, you know, awesome. But trying to, you know, get everything one look, you know, this doesn't look half bad. No bar in the full foundations, not the fence foundations. Really? Let's see here. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, black ice. Yeah, but the spikes are up here too. They're like right at the very top. So yeah, you'd have to you'd have to hide those with a different foundation, I think. But I don't know. I I like the arena stuff better. It just you know it, it these the the black ice it would look all right for like a dwarven style build because it has like that bluish tint. I know it just has a, a weird bluish tint for me. And you know I, I've I've tried building with it, and I don't know they, they need more pieces. I you know I, I feel to be able to make a a decent looking. Especially a castle build. There's there's just too much ice and stuff attached to the uh, the pieces itself. It kind of throws off the medieval look. So you know, I I love the stable, the arena, and the the Yamatai. Oh, and including the Midian. You know, we're using like four different DLCs to get one look. But you know, once you get everything done, it just looks so awesome. But yeah, let's uh, there we go. Let's do that. I wonder what I want to do, like, to top this off. I wonder if it would look good if we topped it off already, if we want to go up one more. Yeah, this is going to look just like one of those Kaya medieval uh, medieval houses. But I'm liking the look of it so far. That doesn't look half bad. There's a mod that adds more black ice pieces like real castle crenellations and cool stuff. There is. I'm familiar with it. However, uh, to kind of keep up with tradition of my channel, I use no mods. Everything is is legit. Um, I don't even use like less building placement mods or anything. Like everything that I do can be achieved not only on the PC but the the gaming consoles as well. Goodness, the stable stuff is my bread and butter. Yeah, I see. I love I love the stable stuff. I just wish there was more pieces, you know, for the stable. But I, I you know I just love that look right there. That's just a, a gorgeous piece. Oh, there's Talos. Hey, welcome to the stream, Talos. See, Chris, the back side of the Numidian walls look really good as well. Yes, you are correct. Um, now that I'm on it, just everything. Like, rotating the windows, that looks good. The walls itself, those look good. Oh, dang, that actually doesn't look half bad. That doesn't look half bad, guys. Hmm. To kind of spice it up, let's see here. Let's see. You know what? We're going to rotate these out with, uh, or not rotate, but swap the, these out with crenellations to see what that looks like. So we're going to have to start over with the whole thing. So we got to place our, uh, our stable uh, pillar doorways first. And then let's go crenellation. And I might be able to go crenellation around the whole build. That might that might not look half bad, guys. So we got that placed. And that at least would eliminate one DLC from the mix. Just so instead of needing four, you only need three to build this now. So, but yeah, you know, as you can see, this is this is what I go through every experimental phase. You know, just trying to come up with the, 
the best looking build for the project that I'm working on. Uh, let's see, where's Stormglass at? Here we go. Place our doors first, and then we can replace those. Huh, let's see here. Let's get, uh... Yeah, let's get these placed real quick. See what this looks like. So we're going to go a ring around the whole build with the actual crenellation pieces. So we're just going to place these pieces all the way around. And like I said, this is just a wonderful utility piece to get, you know, these these pieces merged in with each other. Man, I might need a new keyboard. My A key is just tapped out. That thing is like on the verge of dying. All right, we can go come through with the wall. Oh, no, we can't do the walls. Got to first go through with the doorways, and then we can replace all these doorways with walls. Yeah, sometimes you got to do some wonky stuff to be able to get the look that you want. But I, I really hope they never fix any of this stuff. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. You know what? Let's go back through. Yeah, let's have it to where the outer face actually faces outwards. That might blend better with the, uh, with the crenellation pieces. Ooh, hello. Desri, I'm back. What are we building? Uh, we're building, like, a medieval-style house. Haven't figured out what, uh, what I wanted to do just yet. But, uh, you know what? We need some windows in here, so let's go... There. Let's go there. And you know what? I don't know if I like this. I think the Yamatai might might look better. But you know what? Let's just go a little bit longer just to see. Yeah, we're going to flip these around to where the outer face is facing outwards. Even though that doesn't look half bad, but I think the, I think the Yamatai might look better. Let's see. Oop. Let's go here. Now that looks all right, but I don't know. Yeah, guys, I think the Yamatai looks better. So, back to square one again. We're going to delete these here. All right, let's see. Stable. All right, let's scroll down to Yamatai. And storm glass. And, you know, there's a lot of rebuilding things. Like, you know, sometimes, you know, I wasn't joking. Sometimes when I do these these builds or try to figure out what I'm building, yeah, it could go through five, six, seven, eight, you know, different different rebuilds. And, you know, sometimes they just get so burnt out because, like, I just built this six times in a row. It's like I'm taking a break. But, yeah, it's... Let's see. So if we go, if we go with the Yamatai, we no longer need this trim. So we're going to have to delete all this stuff here. But I do like the windows like that. All right. And it looks like dinner is finished. So uh, I think I'll finish up the Yamatai stuff. And then uh, I'm going to go run uh, and grab myself some dinner real quick. So, you know, I'll only be back about five minutes, if that. I'm going to scarf that down so fast. But before we do that, let's uh, let's get this stuff done. At least, at least the first building. Cause I, you know, I'm kind of liking. I like the 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 layout of this build because this is more of like a scaled down version. It reminds me of a scaled down version of the guild hall that I did. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm really liking this. And actually, I I think there might have been a building in Kaya's medieval castle that looks similar. Well, I, I know it looks similar to this, but it might be a similar setup too. I can't remember. It's I've I've built so many things over like just like just this past month where it's just like I I have. Such a difficult time keeping track with 
everything that I've done. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, this looks. I think this looks definitely, definitely a lot better. Oop. Yeah, we want to make sure the uh, the outer face is facing inwards on these. And then for over here, do the window. Just to kind of mix up the texture a little bit. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad. We can do the roof. And, like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but, like, whenever I do, like, these builds, I'll always put the slants in the roofs first before I actually put the roof on. Because this helps me when it comes to actually, uh, actually putting a roof on and knowing, like, how the roof actually slants. So, like, in this corner, like, I know that the roof will slant this way. Just based off, oop. Just based off of... You know, my, my, my pre-placed uh, slanted walls. So, you know, if you guys are bad at roofs, try this try this uh, tip out. I, I think it would help you guys out significantly in trying to figure out which way, you know, the, the roof needs to, uh, to slope. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad, guys. You know, actually, let's go place one of these bad boys here. See what this looks like. That doesn't look half bad either. Oh. Man, sometimes this game gets on my nerves. It's like, I, no, it's like, no, you need to place where I want you to place, not further in. Uh, let's see, let's get these going. Nope, wrong side. Oh, come on now. I just had it. There we go. Yeah, that doesn't look terrible. And once we spice it up, that won't look bad. I'm kind of liking it. So what we can do here is we can go windows all the way around. Oh, actually, you know what? No, we're going to... So before we do that, we're going to add a... So we got we got the hex shape, but we're actually going to... We're going to do a square on top of this. Before we place those walls, if we go strut first in the middle because I want you know the, the the square to be you know this way but you can go you know diagonal if you want to you just have to use you know you have to go whatever way you know you want your square to be but you place those struts down and then from there you can add your uh, your wall or window pieces whatever you need And, like, you successfully have a square on top of a hex piece now. So, like, that's how you do that. It's, it's pretty simple. Like, you know, it was, it took me forever to figure it out. But once I figured it out, I'm like, oh, geez, I can't believe I spent that much time trying to figure out how to do that. But So we got that place. And you know what? We're going to do the pillar trick now on top. And I know you guys have seen me do this a million times for these uh, these toppers. But these toppers just look so good. So we go there. And then... work and then we're gonna go around the that with stable walls this little gap right here yeah that doesn't look half bad guys uh, maybe if we extend it just one more over that might look better so it doesn't look as squish but that doesn't look terrible I don't think Maybe if I move the windows over. But I don't know. That might be too many windows. Let's see what we got here. So we got a window here. You know what? Let's try it. You know, we're experimenting with the build. So let's see what it looks like.
Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm ignoring you guys right now in chat. I'll, I'll take a quick peek over here in a second. I'm like just so focused on this build right now. See, that doesn't look bad. And we might change this out too. Well, you know what? Let's see here. Yeah, that's, that's what we're probably going to do. Oh, sweet. We can place them that way now. Perfect. So then we'll just change these out. And then we're going to change... Uh, let's see. We're going to change these window pieces out with this to see what that looks like. Which means we're going to have to change out these other pieces. That's no biggie. Yeah, that doesn't look bad either. That doesn't look bad at all, guys. Maybe this might look even all right if we eliminated one part of the bridge and just moved the tower over one as well. And that, that might be a decent build. Let's see, yeah, the Yamatai really makes it pop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just the contrast in colors and everything just makes it look so good too. And like, I might be able to add the, the doorway arches right here just to add just, just one more bit of texture for like the transition from arena up to Yamatai. Go get your dinner already. Wife is waiting. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, I'll be back, guys. Give me like, give me like three or four minutes. I'm just gonna scarf this down super fast. So, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll be back here here shortly.
All right, I'm back. I told you I was going to be very long. I freaking inhaled that dinner. Like, I come running down the hall, and I'm like, where's the dinner at? She's like, it's in the kitchen. And I was like, all right. And I just scarfed it down super fast. I'm surprised I didn't, like, choke and die. Boy, that would be that'd be a plot twist. Like, I tell you guys I'm going to be, be right back. You guys are waiting for hours. It's like I'm just dead. So, uh, so anyway, where do we leave off? Oh, yeah, that's right. So we're here. Uh, let's see. What do we got going on? Maybe the rounded storm glass frames to give the windows more, some more shape. Well, we can try it. I don't know if that's going to look good with the obstruction for the uh, the Yamatai stuff, but definitely give it a go. <clears throat> yeah, not liking that. Yeah, these are definitely a better piece. I still have food in my mouth. Oh my goodness, that's so embarrassing. Set of stable walls for the roof. Try the frontier walls. It looks really good in my opinion. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I agreed. Um, let's see. Ch -ch -ch frontier. Yeah, I'm trying to like limit to where you know we're not using like a million DLCs to make one small building. But agreed, I I do like the stable, or the uh, the frontier wall look. Actually, I wonder if we can get away with a. Uh, Mm, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling the stable piece for this one. I just wish that those that the walls didn't have that different color. I, I wish all the frontier walls were just that dark brown that the uh, that the windows have. Let's see, what'd you have for dinner? Uh, so I scarfed down chicken and green beans. Just like it practically inhaled the whole thing. So and then uh, uh. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, but there's a there's a pop. It's called Green River. It is probably the most incredible pop ever ever created. So it's like never sold anywhere. And uh, one of the guys I used to know, you know, from work, uh, he owns a a chicken place, and he found Green River for me because I've been bugging him for the past three years. I'm like, when are you getting Green River in? So he finally got Green River, and I no longer work there. So I went and. Uh, just seen him the other day, and he's pointed over at his cooler, and it's just stocked with Green River. I'm like, it took you long enough. So I ended up buying just a crap ton of the Green River bottles from him. So I have one of those too. But if you guys don't know what it is or have never tried it, look into it. It is, it is hands down the best pop I have ever had in my life. And like, I can't even explain the taste because it's just like its own, its own thing. But anyway, let's see. What do we got here? This might look. Uh, this might be all right. Because I can either shrink this down one, and that'll look in proportion with this, or I can extend this outwards, and that would that would blend it in better. But that doesn't look half bad, so you know we're just gonna we're gonna go with that. So let's go with another build just right off of it. We're gonna try to space this out a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Because I think this will give me enough enough space to where the overhang ain't, you know, isn't touching either or of the house. So I'm just going to go back like this. Yeah, that's not going to, yeah, that's going to work. All right, let's get our our corner pillars put on real fast. I like using the frontier floor for almost all my builds. Frontier floor is nice. The staircase is, or well, both stair pieces are nice too. There, there are so many good pieces for the frontier set. I'm just amazed about how terrible the out, the outer face of the walls look though. It just the roof pieces and the outer face of the walls just look just god awful. But everything else for that build just is so nice. All right, there we go. We might be onto something here, guys. So we'll have a door entering the front. Uh, there it is. 
Uh, you know, we'll do Numidian, but before, before we do that, we're get, kind of getting ahead of... Oh, you know what? I gotta delete those anyway. We didn't put our upper portion on first. Now, here I am talking, getting ahead of myself. So, yeah, so that, that doesn't look half bad. So, we're gonna place the floors on first. You know what? Here I am worried about which way the floor's facing, but... Spending, wasting a bunch of time doing that. So, let's see here. Let's see what the Numidian. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking how this is. You know, this doesn't look that bad, but I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just curious to know what this would look like if we just moved it back one. But, like, doing that tower is just a whole lot of work. And it's like, I don't want to tear all that stuff down, build it up, and then don't like it and it's just like oh that, that's a lot of work so we're just gonna leave it right now that because you know to be honest that doesn't look that bad and like right here uh this kind of looks a little dull but we can always hide that with uh just with decorations maybe do like uh two flags here go like one here and then like another one like right here heck we could probably move those up maybe a little bit more There we go. Heck, we're gonna move those up even more. Let's see if what it looks like if we cover cover this. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. So yeah, you, even if a build is looking blank, there's always stuff that you can do, like portions of the build that just are just bare to where you can spice it up to where it doesn't look, you know, just blah. That doesn't look half bad. Yeah, we're yeah we're gonna go with that, because you could always add uh, you can always add in like uh, lanterns and stuff too, or like uh, lantern posts. Which you know I I, I came up with these. These don't look terrible, uh, but you go with uh, either go with a Numidian or arena piece. But actually, we're gonna have to we're gonna need Numidian pieces for this anyway. So you know you build it up too like this. And then you get <clears throat> this uh, wall brazier, and I think it's the I think it's the top one. You have to get it centered up with this this bolt here, and then you go through with a stable pillar and replace that. Nope. Yeah, it, it's very touchy. You got to get it. You got to get it right, and then it, it should stay. Let's see. Let's try this again here. But this is a cool way that you can, uh, you know, do light posts and whatnot. You know, I wonder if you could get away with the actual... Let's see. An actual lantern. That might look cool, like a lantern post. Try this. I haven't, I haven't done this one yet. Dang, yeah, it's going to be a pain. Of course it's going to be a pain for me while I'm on stream. Uh, stream every time I do it, you know, off stream, it it always seems to work out for me. Give me two seconds, guys. Oh yeah, that's nothing. All right. Well, you know what? I'm getting sidetracked here. Let's get back to our build. Yeah, th and this this house is going to be probably more for for looks, just to kind of populate the city. And or you know, who knows? This could also be like a like a compact storehouse, but. You know, the, the project that I'm working on is slightly, well, I shouldn't say slightly, it's it's scaled down. So it's it's making things difficult too because, you know, where I had to scale down a lot of the stuff, now i got to scale down the houses and there's, you know, you can only scale down so much in Conan before it really doesn't, you know, look good at all. But uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So like these scaled down houses are very, very difficult to do. And I don't even know if this, uh, if this is too big. I'm, I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping with everything like this might be like the perfect size, uh, perfect size build. But you know what? Let's see. We're definitely gonna go. No, we're gonna just do it like that. Maybe we'll do some windows. 
Yeah, like a window right there, but I think we're going to do these ones. Oop. The frontier ceiling piece is some of the best wood ceilings in the game. Intricate underside and smooth plank topside. Agreed. I love the underneath of the ceiling pieces. It just, they're, they're just so good looking. Let's see why I'm... Well, I'm talking about it. I just might as well just show you guys for the ones that don't have, like, the Frontier set. So you got... You know, let me move that up just a little higher. So you got this, and that, that wood just looks awesome. But then underneath, you have just, you know, some kind of decorative, you know, wooden, uh, you know, piece. that just The texture just looks just awesome. But agreed. I, I do agree. I like the Namidian, too, for just, like, the rough look. You know, that, that, that looks really good, too. But let's see here. Let's add a window right here on the side. Oh. Yeah, guys, like I said, if you don't have the Riders of Hyboria pack, this is the best utility DLC to have, hands down. It, it allows you to do so many cool things. Let's see here. Oh, and by the way, I also figured out or I shouldn't say figure it out. I hope I figured out how to add, like, the donation things to my streams, too. So, you know, I was hoping to have it up by this stream, but I've just been so busy. You know, I've been more busy, you know, not having a job than when I actually had a job. So it's just like, oh, man, it's just been one thing after another. So may maybe next stream I'll actually have that up and running. And, you know, let's see. What's today? Friday. I might do one more for like Saturday for like to keep it, you know, with the every other night. But I think after Sunday, I, I, I might do more of like a, a schedule. But I don't know what works for you guys. Like, what are some of like the best days for you, for me, you know, for me to stream? Like best days and times. Because, you know, I, you know, with, because, you, you know, I, I keep on seeing a lot of familiar faces and I want to make it, you know, uh, more convenient for you guys. But I, I'm thinking three days. So, you know, if you guys have three specific days you want you want me to stream on, you know, I think I'll go off of, uh, you know, kind of what uh, what works for, for all you guys. Let's add some, some flags here, see what that looks like. That doesn't look terrible. And I don't want it to get too repetitive with the flags, but that doesn't look terrible. Kind of liking that. Maybe do Namidian vaulted ceilings on the cantilever. I have no idea what that is, Rakesh. You're gonna have to describe that a little bit more. These, these building terms, like I, I'm pretty basic. Like I, I'm, I'm stupid when it comes to the actual terms of the builds. Like I, I'm working with a very, very limited vocabulary on that. Let's see, frontier are my favorite pillars. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't care for the frontier pillars. I wish they were more wooden. I, I do like the round pillar, but I wish they were more wooden than that, like, that scaly-looking stuff. I don't know. They're okay. They're okay. I give them, like, a, like a 5 out of 10. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I, I at least like to stream throughout the week, too. You know, because originally I was thinking, like, a, like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe. And then I can have the weekends off, or, or or maybe go like a, like a like a Monday, Friday, Sunday, or no Monday, Friday, Saturday. I don't know something like that. I I, I don't know whatever works for you guys, but I don't want to do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, guys. I I need a break myself. Ultra loser, what up, Barden? Hey, what's up, Ultra? Let's see, we'll email you our schedules so you can work around us. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, but you know, maybe like a maybe like a Tuesday, a Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know something like that. Cause I like, I don't want to burn you guys out, and I don't want to burn myself out with just every other day. And you know, cause if I go every other day, I think that like every other week it changes up. You know, which days those days land on anyway. Let's see the overhang a bit. Oh, okay, let's see here. What do we got? So we're probably going to have to go, I see, I don't know if that's going to work because if we do that, because I assume that you want it to go this way. So it looks like, 
there's some support stuff, but then that then we run into some problems on the inside of the actual build, especially at the doorway. So yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. I do like the idea. I just wish that you could cut out some of the, the stuff on the inside. I was just gonna suggest Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You know, and that's not terrible. Like I, I kind of like that too, because that kind of gives everybody a potential day to kind of tune in. Because uh, you know, I know some people. You know, they gotta work the weekends. Uh, you know, that's what, how I used to have to do it too. So like, you know, I, I feel that. But uh, you know, somebody who might you know have you know Monday or Wednesday off. You know, that that gives them the ability to kind of tune in, just so they're not having to catch up on uh, on the, the the recording of the live stream. Breaks are for the week. Yeah, well, you know, I can do it. It's just, you know, I don't want to burn, like I said, I don't want to burn you guys out. And I have a feeling, I, you know, I'll get burnt out at some point too. Like, I, I kind of want to enjoy doing what I'm doing, you know, just so I, you know, it, it's more of, you know, for for my enjoyment rather than me, you know, just feeling like this is a job and it's like, ah, I got to do it just because I have to do it. You know, I, I think that would I would lose out on, uh, uh, just kind of like the the overall how the stream goes, you know, because like, cause I, you know, I, I like I said, I, I like enjoy doing this, and I, I feel like if I was just forced to do it, I don't know, I don't think I'd be as as uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I I just don't think I'd be just as as happy and just outgoing, you know, for for a stream, you know, because. You know, with me doing it right now, you know, I'm excited to do it. So I think a lot of that excitement kind of rolls off onto, you know, the, the actual stream itself, you know. But if, if I was forced to do it, I'd probably end up like how I was last stream where I was just kind of like, oh, crap. Like, I'm just ready to go to bed and just ready to be done with this whole thing. But I don't know. So you run it inside out so that the hanging down is... Uh, I, I don't know if that's going to look good either. That might look good for more of like an Asian style uh, build, but I don't know if that's going to look good for uh, for a medieval style. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. You know, I, 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 think, I think just playing for the bottom is probably the way to go. You know, because, you know, there, there's a certain point where there's too much to a build. You know, you, you got to keep it complex yet simple all in the same and you know i think we have enough complexity here and enough simplicity as well to where you know it looks good but it still doesn't feel like it's you know just just too much which you know like this right here might be too much too you know the more i'm looking at it let's let's get rid of this and let's add in there's this wonderful piece that they added Yeah, see, I don't know if I like that. Kind of like the other, kind of like the other way. Yeah, see, you know, sometimes there's too much, and uh, I don't know. Like this right, oop. This right here looks like it might be too much. But then when we tear it down, then it looks too simple. So it's like, ah, you got to find a happy, a happy medium. I guess this doesn't look terrible. Ooh, wrong one. I guess we'll stick with that. Man, like that doesn't look terrible. Such a tiny interior. We all like a little. We're all a little weak, though. Yeah, you know, and some of these, some of these builds are gonna be, you know, just for looks for 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 the the project I'm working on at the moment. So like this one's definitely gonna be for looks because you know you come inside, and like you only have a little bit to work with. You know, around here. So this would probably be more like a like a storehouse or something. But like for this build, you definitely got some some room. You know, so you come inside, you got a little bit of stuff to work with down here. You come up, and then you got you know a little bit of space, you know, to work with. You know, f for for these portions as well. So you could definitely fit like a bed and stuff. You because know, I probably put like a bed in front of the window, and you know, just some you know just some other things. But you know, these are just going to be definitely tiny houses. So uh, yeah, that that might work. I'm I'm kind of feeling that. Let's see, because these are gonna blend in with this stuff, so those look like to be the the appropriate size. So yeah, that'll work. You know, now that I've seen the other two builds and comparing these two houses with those, 
I, I think this is probably going to be the appropriate scale we're going to be working off of, guys. So, and, and these don't look terrible. These don't look terrible. I think once I spice up the, uh, the streets and add all the decorations and whatnot, this, this will look all right. Burnout is the killer of passion and motivation. Exactly. Exactly. And so far, I've just been having a blast doing these streams. Like I said, the last one I was a little burnt out, but I think that was just because I was tired. This stream, I made sure to, to nap beforehand, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good right now. Now that I'm actually woken up. When I first started the stream, I was still in the process of waking up, but I'm fully awake now, so uh, I'm, I'm just ready to do this. Oh, yeah, burnout is the worst. It's why I don't take art commissions anymore as well. Yeah, yep, agreed, agreed. Dang, burnouts are only cool if you're into car racing. Even then, even then, the burnouts are not cool. Because, like, you're burning, you know, you're, you're burning up your tires, and you're just making the roads look shitty. Or crappy. We'll, we'll go with that. But I don't know. See, do you ever do a Terranian build? No, I have not. Because Terranian pieces just look terrible. Let me reword that. Terranian pieces are my least favorite build pack. I give it, like, a 3 out of 10. For the build pack, there are some some uses for for some of of the pieces for certain builds, but it's just a very limited build palette that I use it for. You ever try any of the mods out there? I've tried mods, but when it comes to like my my actual channel, I don't use any mods for any of my builds. No mods, no building. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Like the less building restriction mods, I don't use any of those. I don't use any of the actual modded build packs. And, like, sometimes I get jealous because it's like, man, the modded community just has so many good mods out there. But it's like, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Stay with the theme of your channel. So, like, yeah, any builds that you see on my actual channel, those are all non-modded. You can do those on computer or uh, or on the console. Because, you know, I got to keep my console players. I got to show them some love from time to time, too. Now the dormer looks fine. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. You know, it's it, it's one of those things where it's just on the line. It can go either way. It can go, you know, it can either be too complex or just right. But once you take it off, it looks definitely, definitely too bare. So it's like, you know what? We're going to keep the dormer. We're just going to go that route. And, you know, I, I love the dormers. And to be honest, I wish there was a piece, uh, a wall slope that looks like this. But right at the very bottom, you have a little triangular, triangular piece right here so that you can merge pieces like this into a roof like this i've been asking so i'm hoping at some point the developers will add something like that into the actual game because that would make things so much easier when it comes to developing uh some kind of build and, and utilize you know just those pieces alone but i seen that rakash reached out and check his thing real quick Oh, that actually looks pretty good. So Rakesh ended up taking my Argosian Villa and doing a Terranian style. And actually, that doesn't that doesn't look half bad, actually. That actually looks really cool. I just, like I said, I just haven't found really too many uh, too many uses for the Terranian pieces. But I guess it's just the builds that I've done so far. I'm sure maybe at some point when I go in there and, uh, and work on something uh, more like Egyptian or, I don't know, I, I probably will utilize that more. Ask yourself, would Conan want to live there? I see, I don't even know where Conan lives. Like, Conan to me just comes off as the guy that would just live, like, literally just in the middle of a field somewhere. So, like, anything extra or more than that is extra. Would love to see more, like, D&D &D fantasy inspired builds. Yeah, see, that's kind of what I got. You know, my whole, I, you know, uh,. And Keita, I don't know if, if you've checked out a lot of my builds, but I feel like a lot of the stuff that I've done has been more D&D inspired, you know, more medieval castles, you know, more medieval style structures, you know, and I have everything else in between. I've done a lot of Warhammer stuff. My Warhammer Blood Bowl Arena that I did just is one of my favorite builds. It just looks incredible. Honestly, these tiny houses would be perfect size for builds if you could have half stair and half ceiling pieces so they would only take less. Yeah, yeah, and that's something I've asked for. But, you know, who knows if the, if the game developers will ever add anything like that into the game. It's the stairs that reduce the space by a lot. Yeah, and I wish that they had, like, 
Uh, you know, they, they just started. I love, let's see here. I love these stair pieces. Oh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Where it only takes up one foundation, but it kind of rotates up. So if they added like something, you know, railing that picks up to where you can go around, you know, and do it in different styles other than sandstone, like this would be awesome. I, I, I love this stair piece. And that would definitely help out more of the tinier style, style builds too. Come to the dark side of the mods. Can't do it. Can't do it. I've... I've maintained course for three years, and I will continue doing so. So, and you know, to be honest, I think that's the biggest appeal to my channel anyway. Because, you know, the biggest thing for me is I want people to be able to make cool builds without having to go over and do the mods. Like, I, I, I want to show people that you can still have cool stuff without, without modding your game. And I know the console players appreciate the whole thing as well. See, I prefer much smaller builds, but the workstations force you to have a large build build to fit them in yep and that's kind of the next thing on our our thing we got to do a blacksmith in this style build so you know i think i think let's let's move on to what a blacksmith you know style style shop would look like so let's let's extend this out and i think to to get away with the blacksmith we're probably going to have to open up maybe a maybe a two by two to fit in you gotta fit in a workstation but this could be all open and outside so let's go uh it's not what i want it's also not what i want here we go i just need like a stair piece so i can do the pillar trick here real quick so we're gonna we're gonna add our pillars on the same way we've done everything else but for this instant this is all going to be open so we're going to use this so this is going to be the actual wall itself so like you come in and like there's going to be like a little little workstation Yeah, and, and as I'm building, I'm, I'm also plotting the stuff out in my head, too. So, like, I, I, there, there's just so many levels of, of creating a build. So, you know, it, you know, for you guys, you might be like, you know, how in the heck is this guy throwing this together so easily? It's, it's just because I've, you know, I, I'm plotting all this stuff out in my head as, you know, as well. But I don't even know if this is going to look good. So, let's see here. So, yeah, we're going to have to... Bring this down. So this is going to be the actual inside of the build, I would think. And we're going to extend that one more. So we're not feeling super crammed because the blacksmith is at least going to have to live in this one. Oh, you know what? We could actually, you know what? Here we go. Let's extend this out. Let's see what that looks like once we get everything everything situated. See, I honestly watch a lot of your builds and follow them and use them. On the RP servers I'm on, sometimes I have to alter them just a bit. Yeah, and that I think that's the biggest uh, uh, where I get my, my my most views is just the RP community because everyone's tuning in. And, you know, I thought about doing like builds that are like 500 pieces or smaller because I know like you're limited sometimes from like 500 pieces or 750 pieces or whatever that it might be. I thought about actually doing RP friendly friendly builds, but I guess like my tiny house stuff, you know, works out uh, for that because those definitely come in well under 500 training is hard because the roof topper pieces don't match the regular roof pieces at all nearly impossible to combine correct yeah like i said it, and they have unique pieces like don't get me wrong you know those would be good for certain style architecture but i just have not haven't done it yet so yeah you know what so the door to get in is probably going to be right here. 
So and I know you're not going to be able to fit a door, so we're going to have to go a wall first and then a door. There we go. Oh, here I am getting ahead of myself again. We got to do the roof piece before we before we do anything. You know, I guess I could have shrunk that down. Yeah, we're going to shrink this down again, guys. We're going to go back one. Because I just thought of another idea. I thought I was going to get fancy with the uh, the blacksmith area. But I'm like, well, you know what? Why don't I just use that, you know, the, the above as well for part of the build. So that will open up a lot more space up top for, like, living uh, quarters and all that stuff. All right, let's see, Namidian. So we're going to go like this. Get these in so we can actually add our walls. There we go. Now we can add our doors and all that stuff. Yeah, you know, building and trying to scale down everything is so difficult to do. Because the Conan pieces are not kind when it comes to the tiny, the tiny builds. But we're going to do our best here. Alright, so we got that. And then now, we're going to go, let's see, stable. We're going to go with these struts. And I love these strut pieces. You know, I, I use these like on, in almost every build. So yeah, so that's going to be open come down with a, uh, a stair piece. Ah, maybe, maybe we will extend it back out. Like, I don't know. See, how much space are we working with anyway when it comes, let's see, crafting stations? We're probably going to have to, yeah, because there's no way we're going to fit this in here. Oh, holy crap. We can Holy crap, guys. I didn't think we were going to be able to fit that. But I stand corrected. Apparently, we can fit a tier 3 freaking workstation in here. But, that, you know, I, that kind of... You know what? I kind of like that because from here, we can kind of spice this up too. So if we go, like, decorative... Because I think I got... Maybe is it under furniture? I think it's under furniture. Uh, let's see. Furniture. So yeah, we can add, like, a grindstone. And there was also... Yeah, here we go. The uh, drenching vat. Kind of add that. Kind of add that out here because I think the. Uh, here we go, the bellows. Kind of add that to the build or something. So you can definitely spice up, spice it up. But I don't know where you'd put like a blacksmith. To be honest, I don't think you could fit a blacksmith station and a. Uh, and a uh, smithing station, a, a lower tier in this area. So you know what? That might work. We might just go with that, and then we could put, like, the blacksmith station, like, inside the actual build itself. So you know what? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna stick with that. That doesn't look half bad. I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Let's add a door so we don't see the inside for right now. See, on most RP servers, they have build piece allowments. Uh-oh, falling behind in chat here. Let's see here. Or allotments based on clan count. Correct. So I'm thinking like, you know, like more of the smaller uh, clans to have, you know, uh, smaller uh, smaller builds to adjust for those uh, building allotments. Yeah, one player 500, two to three a thousand. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They really should add that new two wide gate from the cathedral set to all sets. Yeah, exactly. That piece is awesome. But I don't know about it taking up the entire foundation. I wish it would just, you know, it would take up two foundations, but was still like a wall thick. So I can actually work, you know, with that. But I don't know. If they didn't do that, and they just did with what the cathedral set did, I'd still be, I'd still be happy. At least the build rules for the server I'm on. Yeah, no, I think that's, uh, I think that's kind of, like normal i think that's across the board when it comes to those pieces because like i said i did a rp server a while back and that's kind of how they had that stuff set up robert james looks good i appreciate it robert 
See, I built a storm glass manor using training pieces. They mesh really nice together. Th they do. I'm not saying they don't. I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the Terranian pieces. Just realized I never posted the interior of that build, though. <laughs> well, what are you waiting on? Alright, so now that we got this, I guess we can go... Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do an interior to see what this looks like here. Oh, slightly wonky coming in, but that's all right. So there's definitely enough space. So we could probably do a uh, a blacksmith bench and an armorer bench in here. So you'd have like all your mostly main stuff in this throttle down uh, throttle down build. You know, and I'm so glad I'm doing this because this is definitely helping me out with my uh, with my project that I'm working on. So let's get all these placed first to figure out. The, uh, the roof placement. Yeah, there's quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of room in here. So definitely gonna go with windows here. I think those will look awesome, like, overviewing the, uh, where, like, the smithy and everything is. We'll do that instead. Let's see. Let's go here as well. And then we could put our blacksmith bench and whatnot up against these walls. So that'll work. So let's see what this looks like. All right. Storm glass. I wish they just allowed you just to merge stuff so you didn't have to get you know go through all this this extra crap to get the look that you want it you know that you that you want yeah, and we could definitely spice this up by adding signs Oop. Delete that definitely add a sign on the uh on the build so yeah let's go Do I want to add anything over here? No, I don't want to add anything over here. We don't want to. We don't. We don't want to get too crazy now. Yeah, I'm liking that. You no, know, we got kind of like a little, little build set going on right now, with all these houses lined up and everything. I don't know if I'm gonna do individual builds on each of these houses as content, but I might do this one. I'm really liking how this one's turning out. It's like a micro blacksmith. Like a tiny house, uh, or not a tiny house, but like a tiny blacksmith. Maybe do that for like tiny, tiny build Tuesday or something. Oh, uh, let's see. So yeah, so for the inside, if we go stable. Add our stable fences now. And then on top of that, we add our struts. Oh, we're not going to be able to do that. Right? Oh, yeah, we're going to be able to do that. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, that'll look good. So, now we got everything already placed. And like I said, just adding your sloped walls first it just makes it so much easier to figure out how you need to put your roof pieces on. But yeah, this doesn't look half bad. I think it'll look good once we get everything thing attached to it Oop. So do I want to add another dormer here probably not well you know what what the heck so we're gonna get rid of this window and we're gonna we're probably gonna put our sign there to kind of we'll put a sign up and we'll probably put two flags you know above it but we're gonna place a dormer right above it just so it can you know it can mix in just so you know you kind of have you know a theme of your builds going because you know nothing bugs me more than having a cool city but then you come across that one building where it just doesn't quite it doesn't quite work out with the rest it just throws off the whole build
Yeah, that doesn't look half bad. Kind of liking that. So, yes, yeah, so we got the blacksmith stuff outside. Then we go decorations. Uh, is it under front? No, it's under, it's going to be under signs. I think. Oh, yep. So, let's see. Blacksmith. Hang this. Actually, we can go underneath it. And then it could just be like some name or something. I need I need a good name for a blacksmith chat. You guys are going to have to help me out with that one. There it goes. That doesn't look bad. I'm really liking that. All those buildings look so good together. And you know, I might repeat this one. This is kind of like a filler building for for the uh, the project anyway. But I wish that I could actually get uh, the one bad thing about the arena stairs. They get caught up on the pillars. So like, you got to make sure you keep the pillars away if you want pillar placement. This one just so happened to work out because there was no pillar here. But uh, I really wish that this would be. I could fit it over here but I know these pillars are gonna freaking obstruct it so I'll have to settle for this maybe we can go the rail the rail da uh, one see what this one looks like nope man I wish I wish there was half steps too that'd have been awesome like little half step railing pieces so the railing didn't run all the way into the ground but you know what that works and I think I'm over analyzing it. That you know that that's not terrible. And that that's a that's a good blacksmith because you know you got room for, you know everything. Oh, definitely gonna have to have the door open the other way though, just so you're not blocking. But yeah, you definitely have plenty of room for for blacksmith stuff. You're gonna have to pack everything in here. But you know what? For a for a blacksmith tiny build, I'm liking it. So now let's see what else do we slag shop. I just really never post the interior of the build. It's kind of small, but I'll post them now. Yeah, I'll check them out after stream for sure. Uh, okay, so let's see here. What do we need? What do we need for a town? So we got a blacksmith shop. We got some houses. Maybe like an inn? Like a, like a tavern or something? Might go good for, for this. Let's see here. We might have to go a little bit bigger for a tavern. And actually, let's see here. Let's see, a shop. Yeah, just a shop in general. Yeah, we'll have to do just a shop in general as well. But off stream, because I don't want to ruin the surprise of what I'm building. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google some images real quick. Okay, that's how, okay, that's how what we're going to have to do. Okay, we're going to do an in next. Yeah, tavern inn. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do a tavern and inn. I got an idea of what it's gonna look like. Cause I know like that building was the tavern and inn in the in the the game that I'm talking about. So uh Yeah, we're gonna yeah, let's let's move on to that. So this is gonna be a T shape. All right, so this is going to be probably what the base of the inn is going to look like. It's going to be a T, so it's going to be a more of a unique unique shape. So let's get uh let's get our pillars going again. And to be honest, guys, I'm so glad I changed out the uh the decorative door frame uh the whatever the underneath portion of it is with what we're rocking now cuz this is so much easier to throw this stuff together. Right, let's see. Let's get some flooring in. Actually, you know what? 
Might as well get this in now. I don't know why I kept on putting up the arena stuff and then deleting it. Because it's like, wait a second. Because I'm going to need to have to place this anyway. This don't make no sense. Alright. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm liking the look a lot. I think... I think you guys are going to like my next project. And like I said, a lot of these buildings you're going to see in, in in my next project. But, I don't know, at least you guys will have them to where you don't have to, like, re-watch this stream and just me yapping for <laughs> for a, a quick minute. Because, you know me, I get off on my, my little tangents. Or I shouldn't even say tangents, but you guys ask me a question and I just all of a sudden, boom, you know, an hour later, it's like, oh crap, what am I doing? I need to get back on on task here. Here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking. I'm already liking this already. This will be perfect for a tavern build. Because uh, you can come in and I can do like a little bar or something in one side. And we can have the stairs back here with some tables. Yeah, this will definitely work. I don't know if I'm going to decorate my entire my entire project for, uh, uh, for my next video. I might decorate a couple of the bu uh, buildings just to kind of give you guys an idea of what it could look like inside. But I don't know. Des, Des, where are you at? I might be calling you again. She's probably thinking, oh gosh. She's like, I don't know why I even spoke up. She's like, I, 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 just, I just want him to leave me alone. <laughs> See, do they have anything from the bazaar? The ivy's really cool. Yeah, the ivy's cool. Um, just very expensive. Like, not even worth it, to be honest. And I just, I just absolutely hate I, I'm just not. A, I'm just not a fan of the bazaar at all. I, I know I've said it a million times. You know, I, I, I think I, I think I dog on the bazaar like literally every stream. So, <laughs> I think in one stream I said, you know, because I remember them hiring a, uh, uh, a monetization expert. And I'm like, you know, if, if your job title is monetization expert, you just need to be fired because like monetization like like microtransaction everything they don't belong in video games at all i'm just highly against that oh you know what guys we can actually do an actual there we go and we can actually probably do some cool planners on the outside too well, let's see let's go and Decorations. Liking it so far, guys. Maybe. I don't know about this one. Maybe, maybe we can just go, like, super basic. Yeah, I like that look better. Yeah, I like, yeah, that, I like that look a lot better. Heck, we could even probably add another little planner right here. I feel like Bob Ross sometime. We're just going to add a happy little planner right here. And I, and I, I missed out because I'm like, oh, you know, if, you know, this happy little planner could use a buddy, and I could have placed another one right here. That's right. That's what I need to go as for Halloween. Maybe, maybe when I do my Halloween Halloween stream, I'll just be Bob Ross, and we'll just do a just a let's build again. That 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 that, that might be that might be something I'll do. That, that that I think that'd be hilarious. I heard decorate. I'm here. I knew you would. I, I, I'm surprised you're not burnt out yet, Des, with, with my decoration. You're probably just like, oh, gosh. It just never ends. And, like, I don't know if you guys would only realize, like, my schedule. Like, and I got to give Des props because, you know, when I found out that she was an interior decorator and I started using her for uh, for my builds, I don't even think she knew what she was, <laughs> what she was uh, uh, getting herself into because when I do these, it's like boom, boom, boom. Like, build one, record one, post it. Build one, record it, post it. It's just one after another. Like, I am just a machine. Like, there's no breaks, no stopping. And she's managed to keep up with me. 
So, you know, she's decorated a couple and, you know, I'd be hitting her up like a day or two later being like, I need your help decorating this one too. So I'm thinking, you know, oh man, she's probably like, oh gosh. The prices are ridiculous. Agreed. Agreed 100%. Ooh, man. Starting to get like belchy here. It's like, I don't want to do that on stream. I think the chicken and the green beans are finally starting to hit me a little bit. A tavern got to have an underground basement and wine cellar. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. I wish. I wish there's a way you could, like, like dig into the ground and everything, like Minecraft. But, yeah, that's that's not going to happen. But, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking this look. Because we can have, you know, we can even have the bar upstairs. This could be, like, a little, like, little lounge lobby. Like, you're, you're coming in. And you have, like, the stairs and everything. And then, uh... Everything's up here because you have plenty of room for a bar and a bunch of tables and everything. So, you know, while I'm talking, let's get uh, let's get the walls up so we can figure out where we want to place our windows and everything. And, you know, I've always found it easy. Like, you know, starting a build is the most difficult part. But, like, once you get rolling, like, because you know, I didn't know what I was going to build uh, this stream when it came to, like, the medieval stuff. So I'm like, oh, man. And to be honest, I kind of lucked out with that that first build we did. But, like, that kind of gave me a scale of what to do with the rest. And to be honest, now that now that I'm seeing all these buildings lined up with each other, I kind of like this one, how it is right now. Which is like, Because I didn't know if I was going to like it by moving it down one. And who knows? I might still do it. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to do it. We might come back and revisit this here in a second. Once we're done with the tavern, we're going to revisit this. We're going to add this this tower over onto this, and we're going to see uh, we're going to see what that looks like. But let's uh, let's at least get the tavern done real fast. So let's see here. So we're going to add these here, add another one here. And I think right here would be perfect spots. For the windows. Yeah, that'll work. City stable. Yeah, now that I got an idea of how I want my architecture, it's like all these builds are starting to come together. So, but I really like those stairs with those planters right next to it. That just looks so good. It's not going to let me rotate. So let's go that route. Oh, good. We're lucking out here a little bit. Oh, that. Oh, we lucked out. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. It's to the right. And now to the left. So do we, do we want to add any dormers to this one? Because I feel like. We definitely have the real estate to work with. But you know what? Nah, we ain't. And we're gonna hang some uh We're gonna hang some signs and everything too. Probably put up a billboard. Let's see here. Signs. We still need a name for the blacksmith, guys. I haven't seen a name yet. Chat, you guys are gonna have to help me out. And then we also need a name for the uh for the tavern. Uh, let's see, signs and notes. Let's go billboard. Just right out front of the base. That'll work. Let's see. Tavern sign. Oh, nope. That's the cooking one. Here we go. Tavern. That'll work. We'll probably stray away from the flags because we've been putting them on like literally every freaking house. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're going to put more flags on here. That'll work. You know what? I think we're going to skip out on the dormers this section. Wrap around deck. Uh, you know what? We could probably try something like that. That's not a half bad idea. We can go, like, around, like, the back side of it. I just don't want to get too big. Because, like I said, you know, I got a scale that I'm working with. And, you know, one building that's that's off scale could really throw this build off. But, uh, 
We can try the wraparound deck. I, I that, That's actually a good idea. Get these placed here real quick. Uh, let's see. There we go. Edger Sharp. <laughs> or Edgar's. Sharp. There, that'll work. Good enough. The Iron Author. I'm, I'm liking this. I don't know if we need to add dormers to the roof, though. The roof is, is looking pretty pretty bare. I don't know, guys. Because I want to add some windows to the actual, the actual build. Let's see. Barden's Bar. No, I, I already thought of a good one. The Drunken Turtle. <laughs> Ooh, Tipsy Turtle. I like that one. I like that one. Hold up here. There we go. I, I do like the tipsy turtle. The triple T. I like that. Turtles be drinking. <laughs> I don't know. I think the tipsy turtle is going to be a hard one to, uh, to beat. We're going to go with that. You know... We got to change this one. I apologize, but this one's this one has to be the iron shell. There we go. Yeah, the more I'm looking at this, I think we need dormers up top. Man, cuz I hate to ha hate to add dormers right above actual windows. But let's see what this looks like if we add two right above. How's that look? That doesn't look terrible, actually. Huh. That doesn't look half bad. Yeah, you know, we're going to go with that. That's kind of growing on me. This is now Turtle Town. It is not, actually... And wait till you guys see my final build. The, the layout is awesome. Well, you know what? I was going to say, for you guys actually staying in here and, and, and watching me and whatnot, I think I might reward you guys and give you a spoiler of the project that I'm working on. So, a couple weeks back, I put out a, uh, a, uh, a post kind of hinting at what my next build is going to be. And a lot of you guys figured it out, like, right away, that it was going to be something Elder Scrolls related. So, um, that's exactly what it is. It is set during the time in the Elder Scrolls, which I don't know if you guys are huge Elder Scrolls fans. I am. It's one of my favorite games. But it's set during the, the events of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. And uh, I picked a city that I wanted to build. Um... And it, to be honest, it, it was a city that you really didn't get to experience a whole lot, you know, of it because the city was pretty much completely decimated. So you only spend a short amount of time. And I thought it'd be cool to actually take that city and do a build of it prior to it getting completely wrecked. And another reason why I chose the city is because it had quite a bit of good uh, good structures in it. So, you know, you got your you got your city, your basic city shape with, like, the walls and everything. You have the castle itself. You have, a, like, a, a decent-sized chapel. And then you also have uh, an arena. 
So, um, I got most of it built. I just didn't have the actual city buildings. But going off of these buildings, these look so good to where I'm going to implement these into the actual, the actual build itself. But anyway, so the, uh, the city that I actually chose, because I know a lot of people were wanting me to do the Imperial City, and uh, I decided not to do that one just because of the scale, and there's just no, there's no good terrain pieces on either Isle of Sipta or Exile Lands that would, that would be able to host the Imperial City. So the only other city that had an arena in it was Kavach, and that's the, that's the, my secret project that I've been working on for for a good while now. Just trying to get the layout down and everything has just been crazy. But I absolutely love these buildings. So once I get these buildings added to Gavach, I think it's just going to look amazing. But I figured, since you guys are actually in here watching, uh, we might do a little bit of spoiler. So we'll do a quick spoiler of the progress of what I got built now. Just so you guys know what to expect. Because I'm like I said, I'm hoping to have this done by Monday. But, you know, I, I make no promises. But, uh, let's see. Rebuild Kieran Manor. Oh, do you know why there are, were so many houses were designed the way you got yours built? With the small first floor and large upper. F oh, do you know why there was so many houses were designed Small first floor. Yes, I do know why that. Um, uh, you had to walk everywhere. So they wanted to limit the the expanse of, of city sprawl. So you'd have like small first floors. So you could pack in a bunch of, you know, a bunch of houses in it and whatnot. But then you had the overhangs and you had the extended upper floors to expand your house. But yeah, that was exactly it. It was just to limit the amount of time it took from people having to walk from their house to like the market or, or whatever the case may be. But anyway, getting back on point for the spoiler. Um, so I had to come, come up with a scaled chapel. So this is kind of the idea that I came up with for the, uh, for the Kavach build. So I got that. And then I also have the Kavach Arena. So I got, you know, that going on. But, uh, you know, I got the castle and, you know, those houses are just, they work so well with the scale, I think. I think those are going to work out, guys. So with all of that, um, let's see here. Let's turn this up on a cinematic so you guys can get like the full grand scale. So this is going to be a uh, a first reveal. Still a work in progress, but just to kind of see. Wow, nice chapel arena. Appreciate it. So uh, this is what I got so far for the Kavach build. So I do have the arena already in there. I also have the uh, um, the chapel. I also have the city walls and I have the castle. The last thing I have to do is the actual... Uh, just the houses and the tavern, all the stuff that we're actually working on now. So you guys kind of helped me out with this stream by watching me actually implement, or not implement, but come up with ideas that I can implement for the build. So with that said, here's going to be a reveal of what I have so far for the Kavach build. So this is what I got. So I'm hoping to have this done. Um by Monday, but I have, I make no promises, because th this is such just a huge, a huge build on my end, it's just, it's going to take time to be able to record everything, all right, let's turn that back down here, See, in the time that was the style was popular housing taxes were based on the square footage that touched the ground, so they had small first floors. Oh, see, that I didn't know. I thought it was always based more of a convenience thing, so they could, like, you know, so you can get to places faster and everything. But that makes sense, too. Let's see, uh, let's see. Oh, an Elden Ring fan over there. I say Ninja knows I'm not an Elden Ring fan. He talked me into buying, uh, uh, oh, what was it called? Oh, I can't think of it. Dark Souls. And I just, I'm not a fan of Dark Souls. Let's see. 
them houses too big. Looks, I don't think the houses are big. You know, I'll know more once I actually add them into the town. But, I don't know, I think the scale is, is right, to be honest. The chapel might be scaled down a little bit, you know, but I don't know. I think it's going to work out. I think it's going to work out in the end. Once everything's decorated and whatnot, but we'll see. I'm, I might hate it, and then here I am having to redo the whole thing. But, I don't know, so far I, I really like how everything's turned out. But uh, other than that, I appreciate it, guys. That's kind of what I've been working on for, like, the past... Well, it's probably been, what, the past month and a half when I put it out? Because I wanted to have this out in Jan or in January, but uh, just a life just kind of slapped me across the face without any warning. So that kind of put everything on hold there for a little bit. But everything's starting to fall back in, you know, back uh, all together again. So, you know, I'm, I'm starting to have more, more time to where I can actually uh, go back to my, my normal YouTube stuff. Can't wait to see it. Don't redo it. Just go with it. That's probably what I'm going to do because uh, I don't want to have to scale this down anymore because I think this is about as small of a scale as we can get when it comes to these tiny houses. So we're just going to go this route. But I think I am going to take a little bit of creative freedom when it comes to the building placements and whatnot because like in Kavach, you don't know what is what because everything's just on fire and just blown up. So I think... Uh, when it comes to the placement, there's one building that I know the ta where the tavern was actually going to be located. So like, I know where that's going to be. But everything else, I think I'm just going to take creative freedom and uh, just kind of go from there and place it, you know, wherever it, you know, wherever it looks good. The chapel looks effing good. The chapel was the hardest thing of the build. That took me forever to come up with with an idea, you know, for it. And like I wanted to do like the little arch, the arches and whatnot. So I came up with like this this design, and that actually didn't turn out horrible. But I wish that. I wish the arena pieces had the sloped walls because I think sloped walls right here would just look incredible. But I don't have anything that looks good or whatnot, so we just kind of have to go with it that way. And then the main tower as well was also very difficult to do, so especially on the scale that I was working with. So like this is kind of the design that I that I decided to come up with. So, but anyway, let's get back to uh, let's get back to it. So we got a house, we got a smaller house. We got a blacksmith. We got a tavern slash inn. Let's see, what else do we need for our city? Like, what other good buildings? We're going to need a lot more buildings than this. And, and I know we're going to need some more houses and whatnot, but the housing design is going to be pretty easy, you know, because I can always just change up the, uh, the bottoms real quick and, you know, just for, like, filler houses. But are we missing any other, like, prominent style buildings for the, for the town? If anything, the arena and chapel could be bigger. I think that houses are on par. Yeah, you know, and I had to scale down the chapel and the arena for the build itself. Because I had a bigger I had a bigger arena that I had built, but it just wouldn't fit within the uh, the city walls. So I had to scale it down a bit and like this one actually worked. But you know, I think it was I think it's a decent size, especially for like a pit fight arena, because you have plenty of space to fight somebody in here. And this isn't the final this isn't the final build, just FYI. This is just one of my uh I was experimenting, so, like, I, I have a lot of changes, you know, from, from this one. But just to kind of give you guys, you know, an idea for scale, like, there's still plenty of space to fight somebody, you know, inside here. But, uh, agreed. I probably could have scaled it up a little bit more, but I just didn't have the room. So, if, you know, I just got to go. I got to go with it. But I, I think everything's going to look all right. Once I get once I get everything uh, uh, placed inside the city, at least I sure hope, I, I sure hope it does. See brothel, bathhouse, bakery, tannery, and or carpenter, town hall, a bakery for making snickerdoodles, apothecary. I do like the apothecary idea. Actually, I, I like all the ideas to be honest, but uh, the apothecary one definitely stands out. You're gonna revisit the tower for that first house after finishing the tavern. Oh, there we go, keeping me on par. Let's do that real quick. See, I appreciate you guys being here because without you guys, I would just be a lost soul. I wouldn't know what the heck I'm, I'd be doing. So let's delete that. And let's get this placed. Well, that's not going to shoot. Yeah, we're just going to have to scrap this whole thing. Build this down here. 
a Thrall Mart? Oh, that would be funny, guys. If I did a Walmart-style build, but name it Thrall Mart, oh, that would be great. Taylor shot for them sweet threads. Okay, Green Ranger. Um, just to let you know, there are certain words that I cannot say at my house. Otherwise, my dog knows exactly what I'm saying and will freak out. And I'll have to take him to a certain place. And that place is uh, T-A-C-O-B-E-L-L. -L. So I definitely cannot say that. <laughs> <laughs> right now out loud on stream but uh that would be that'd be awesome too to add into the town but i, I don't think they have a taco joint in in kvach so uh i don't i don't think i'm gonna be able to do uh do that build thrall mart that's good i'm revisiting my tavern build and building a hopefully better one you know and that's the thing like you know ultimately at the end of the day you have to be happy with uh with your builds and, you know, never be uh, uh, shy to tear something down that you're not 100% on, you know? Like, because, like, I do it all the time. Heck, I'm doing it right now. It's like, you know what? I think this could be better. Let's let's try it this way and and whatnot. But I'm just... Uh, I, I, I didn't want to have to uh, to have to do the pillar trick on all these sides. That was, that's, that was what probably takes the longest to do. When it comes to some of these more decorative towers, it's just there's so many steps involved to make these towers look good for liter and it literally does nothing. It's just there to look good. But you know me, you know I'll I'll take something that looks good over functionality all day every day. Let's see, a little special on IO three level one dancers, buy one get one free. You know, you joke. You joke. There might be something in the near future in the works that I might uh, might start on immediately. Yeah, let's build these up here. Let's get this going. Oh, that's holding me up. Finally get these placed. Delete the other one. Splash Your Tavern was awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look because that was one that you posted in Discord, right? I have to, have to double check that one here real quick. Yeah, because that was the Manor one that you posted just a second ago. I'm gonna have to scroll up a minute, man. You guys have been like on fire in my Discord. Holy cow! Yeah, you guys have. There's a ton of good builds ton of good builds in my discord you know what is circus in stream circus are you watching i love your dog then yeah he has a mind of his own he's he's just weird but uh you should see him when, you know that's one of our rules when we have like people over it's like you guys you know cannot say these words because the rule is if you say these words and my dog gets excited, it's like, you got to take him at this, at this point. Because he will not stop, you know, getting excited until he goes and gets his, his stuff. But, yeah, they give, him all, they give him free chicken and all kinds of stuff. And it's, it's hilarious because uh, where I'm from, we have a place called Culver's. And, uh, oh boy, I just messed up, guys. I really hope he didn't hear that. I don't hear him running down the hall, so he might have not heard that. But anyways, we have a place there, and he'll go, and uh, he orders his food at the drive through window, or uh, at the, the drive through speaker box. It's crazy. It's it's the only fast food joint that he does it at, but we'll roll up, and you know, I'll roll down the back window, and he'll stick his head out the back, so you know, I'll order my food and everything, and then he'll woof at the speaker box. That's like... And then, you know, of course they hear that I have a dog, so they always ask me if I want a P-U-P -P space C-U-P. I can't say that either because that's one of those no-no words that he'll pick up on. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go up to the uh, we'll go up to the window. And it was so funny because I don't think my wife uh, believed me when I said, he orders his own food 
and he says thank you at the window or please you know please or thank you at the window so i order him one we get up to the window we hand the bag and everything and you know they're like oh you know we got his you know p-u-p c-u-p and uh you know uh, i like all right so what do you say and at this point in time the wife was it with me so she's sitting in the passenger seat and i and he comes up to me he goes wolf i go no, no no don't tell me that tell her that and i point at her so he goes to the back seat sticks his head out the window looks at the girl in the drive through and just goes wolf and like she's just like oh my gosh so he got his uh he got his thing but my wife was cracking up because she didn't realize like I, I, I wasn't joking. Like, I was, like, 100% telling the truth. But, uh, yeah, he's so funny. But he, he has he has his couple favorite places that he loves going to in town. You know, and, we, and you know, we couldn't say uh, KFC or Kentucky Fried Chicken. So, like, now, uh, now we have to call it Kentucky Fried Charles. Otherwise, he knows exactly what we're talking about. So, like, we have to code word certain things. Otherwise, he, because he's been figuring it out. And he just, I don't know. He's weird. He's weird. So we definitely got to watch what we what, what we say. All right. Let's see what this looks like here. Oh, you know what? We got to place this like that. You know what? Yeah, I'm already telling. I like this a lot better with the, the shorter uh, the shorter bridge. Let's see. Everyone on your Discord is so talented, Barton. It's insane. That's what I'm saying. There are so many good builders there. Like, you know, I was part of the Better Builders Bureau, and, like, they got a ton of good builders. But I'm like, you know what? We're going to compete. I want better builders on, on my Discord. That's the goal. Hello, I can't even say BRB or take off my headphones while gaming without my pug going nuts because he knows I'm getting up. Yeah, and see, my dog is so good at social clues. So, like... You know, I, it's just so weird. Like, cause he knows, like he knew when I was actually going to work, when I actually had a job at one point, so he wouldn't get excited. But then when I was just going out and about, he always knew like there was a possibility of him, uh, getting go somewhere. So he'd get excited. So like he, he knew the difference, but, uh, it all, it always cracked me up when he'd be, uh, outside and, uh, he'd be in our yard. Cause we got a pretty big yard so they can run around and it's all fenced in and whatnot with chain link. But, uh, he'd see my car coming up. And you'd see him like staring and then his tail would start wagging and he'd just be like laying there watching me. And then as soon as I would pull into the driveway, he'd get up and just go darting all the way around to like the front of where the driveway is just so he could see me through the fence. So then as I get out of the car, then he'd run up to the back door and you'd hear him bark and whatnot. So then my wife would have to walk all the way back to the house to let him in. But she's always like, well, I know you're home because Bubs would be in the back freaking out, wanting to come back inside. And then he'd always greet me at the door. But I'll tell you what, I see I'm a dog guy. Dogs are like the best pet in the world. Like, you know, it, it, it just sucks they, they don't live as long as humans, you know. But, yeah, I'm going to be sad when he goes. I still got a, about another five or six years out of him. But, you know, that, that that's going to be a difficult time, you know, when that happens. Oh, my God, the C word, butter burgers. Yes. And their cheese curds. I love And then they have incredible custard, too. Like, I, that's one of my favorite places to go to, fast food-wise. Let's see. What kind of dog? Well, you know what, guys? Um, give me a second. I'm going to use the restroom, and uh, we might do a dog reveal as well on my Let's Build uh, my, my Let's build stream. So g give, give me a minute or two to use the restroom, and then uh, I'll grab them, and I'll bring them into the, uh, the command center. So I'll, I'll, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I do have him with me, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him uh, up here to where you guys can see him on my camera because I got that all mounted to my uh, my computer monitor. But uh, before I grab him real quick, because he's actually laying right, right behind me right now, let me catch up on this chat real fast. Goodness, we can't even ask each other if we're hungry or if we want to eat without our French bulldog going nuts. Yeah, exactly. See, I think dogs are smarter than what they uh, they put themselves out there to be because they just pick up on just things so fast, especially the English language or just language in general. LOL, BBB, Barden's Better Builders. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. Yay, Pupper's Reveal. Yep, he's about ready to be revealed here shortly. See, my dog passed away quite a while ago. It's just not the same without him. Still have his leash on the wall. Yeah, and that sucks. And that, and you know, and that, that's what makes it so hard because dogs are just so loyal. And, you know, they, they always, they will always be excited when, uh, when you get home. Like, that's always, like, the best feeling because it's him meeting you at the door, just happy to see you, you know? It's just like, oh, geez. You know, he didn't, uh... Mine's a rescue, so uh, whoever had him before, because we picked him up when he was, like, real small. He was a pup. Wh whoever had him before us abused him and uh, burned his face up. So he has some scarring from, like, the burns and whatnot. But, uh, you know, you really can't notice it unless you actually are, are looking at this point. But uh, he, and he's still skittish from then. You know, and we're going back, you know, six, seven years now. And he's still, you know, just, he's scared of people in general. But he's a German Shepherd Husky mix. But he definitely has the the Husky side of him when it comes to him talking. Invest into a pup cam. Ah, uh, you joke. That's already in the works. It's already in the works. You should make a pet channel in your Discord. Yeah, well, you know, and it's funny because I post up some pictures of him. Ah. Uh, on my Twitter and whatnot. I actually just had a, a picture posted on my Twitter not too long ago because after he came in and interrupted me and wanting to go O-U-T-S-I-D-E while I was recording during one of my streams, I couldn't get to him because I was actually in the middle of recording for that, uh, that sandstone thing. Uh, I started locking him out of my, my gaming room while, uh, while I'm streaming. So my wife took a picture of him all depressed on the couch because he couldn't get back here by me. So he just looked like a Debbie Downer. So she took a picture. So I posted that on my Twitter. It was so funny. He looked so miserable. It hurts so much to lose an animal. They're, ama they're an amazing family. Exactly. You know, and I'm surprised that Law, like, see, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I like animals more than I like people. So, <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm, I'm shocked that we don't treat animals. They don't have, you know, per, you know, as many protections that, like, humans do. And I'm talking like, I'm talking like pets, not like cows and stuff because I love me some hamburger. So like, <laughs> you know, them, it, it is what it is like that. You know, I, I don't know. I, but when it comes to pets, uh, I don't know. I, I think they should have a little bit more protections than what they actually do. But uh, yeah, you know, you guys are bombarding me in chat. So, you know, he's, he's still laying here. So. You know, rather than, you know, keep on talking about him, I'll just show you guys him. And, you know, like I said, he gets a little nervous. So he might be like, all right, bro, like, why do you want me right here and up in front of the screen? So he might be a little nervous. He might be a little camera shy. So give me two seconds. Let me see if I can actually get him uh, to where you guys can actually see him. Give me two seconds, guys. Up. No, up. There you go. Come on, up. Yeah, see, guys, he's being, he's he's being like suspicious right now. Come on. Come on. No, that's not how you do that. He just turned around. Now his back's towards me. No, come here. Come here. Up. Up. Everybody wants to see you on stream. Everybody, come on, up. Come here. Come here. Up. Yeah, he's being so difficult right now. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Up. Nope. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him, guys. Here, come here. Come here. Come here. Here, can you hop up in the chair? 
Here. Here, right here. There you go. No bubbas. No, you're not going under it. You're going to knock everything down. Come here. Here, I want to put you up in the gaming chair. Come here. Right here. No. No. <laughs> he thinks I'm... I think he thinks he's in trouble. Here, come on. No, up. Oh. Come on, Baba. Oh. <laughs> here he is. You're on camera, Bubba. All right, I'll put you down. All right. Come here. Oh, watch out, move, move. <laughs> oh no. I opened up the my, my door and he just ran out. He's like, I did not like that at all. He's like, I have no idea what you were trying to get me to do, but I did not like that at all. But, but yeah, he's, uh, I think he's like seven, seven or eight now. He's starting to get up there in age. Like I said, that sucks because, and he is such a good dog. He's probably the best dog I've ever, I've ever had. So yeah, that's going to be a difficult day, you know, come, you know, when he passes and it, you know, I don't even like to think about it to be honest, cause that's gonna, just going to be horrible. Uh, let's see here. Let's get uh, some texture while we're uh, while we're here. And I love these these new wall rim pieces that they added because it just adds so much more depth to a build. Let's see, and then let's actually yeah we're gonna we're gonna actually add the door frames this time around because we didn't do it last time, but I think we're gonna do it this time. So we're gonna use these. Uh, these foundation piece, pieces, which for some reason, the pillars don't obstruct the triangular ones, but they obstruct the square ones. So we can at least get away with doing what we want to do with these. Yeah, we can go around the outside of the build and add these door frames. And this will add, this will give us a little bit more texture, you know, for our build. And I, I really like how that's, how that's turning out. So now, let's build this up a little bit. Let's see, handsome boy. Oh, what a puppy. He's a beautiful dog. The discomfort in his face was real. Yes, he was like, I don't know what's going on. And he was really nervous too, because he's just like, okay, dad's doing something that I, that's not normal. Like, I need to be afraid right now. So yeah, he was completely not liking that. But you know what? It's something that had to be done. So now you guys know what my dog looks like. He's just a big baby. And you know, I got him for, for home protection. And uh, about... As much as he will do is he'll alert me to if there's an intruder. He'll just be like, hey, there's an intruder. And then I got to go deal with it anyway. You know, so it's like you are failing at your job right now. Such a well-fed. Yes, yes, he is well-fed. My pug is 7'2". He's like, I'm out of here. That's exactly it. He, uh, he, as soon as I opened the door, he ran out. He, he ran towards, uh, he ran towards, uh, my wife. He's like, mom, dad's doing something weird right now. <laughs> he just booked it. So, uh, he's beautiful. Such a good boy. Yep. So I, I appreciate it guys. But yeah, that's, uh, that, that's bubs. So he is, he is a good boy. All right. You know, and I know I did these for here, but I wonder if it would look better if we actually did those instead. So let's see what we got here. Can I fit these? I can't. So now, now they can't fit those. We're gonna have to go and we're gonna have to change out all these pillars with stable ones because the stable ones are not as thick as the arena so that should give us the ability yep to place these and see that's why i said having the uh the writers of hyboria dlc with the stable pieces it is such a great utility dlc to have because some of the pieces just allow you to do some pretty cool things let's see here You know what, guys? I think I'm liking this better. I think I'm liking this better. Let's see. Yep, that's facing the right way. That's facing the right way. Can we luck out to where all of them face the right way so we don't have to place door frames? Sweet. Okay, so we got that going. So now that all those are placed, we can come back through and we can we can change out the uh, the stable pillars. We can make them 
arena again. So there we go. And then I don't know what we want to do for... If we want to do the same thing that we did last time. Let's see. Do we just want to do Yamatai? What will that look like? Definitely don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, where's my stable piece? Go to the struts again? Yeah, we're going to do the struts. That'll work. Say we already got the doors and everything. So let's add that. And then it's awesome because if you go with the... Uh, I think it's insulated wood. Yeah, the insulated wood doors look really good for, like, the medieval. It just sucks that they're tier 2. But those look really good on, like, a medieval-style build. Oh, you know what? Here we go. Forgot to uh, do the top part. I'm like, oh, and we're done. But no, we are not. But wait, there's more. All right, let's get this, let's get this done real quick. Uh, get these corners going. Yeah, see guys, there's just so much work when it comes to doing these these tower these decorative towers. It's just like, oh gosh. There's so many steps involved. And it's you don't even really utilize the tower at all. It just looks good. Let's see, stable. But I I'm I'm liking that more. That that definitely looks a lot better uh for that build. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with that one. That one's really cool. Actually, we could even add like a door. Let's see here. Like a door down here with some stairs. Because I know I've done this with one of my other builds. I think it was the uh, the Warhammer house. And then go with something like that. I don't know, just something like that. But yeah, that works. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot actually. So far, I'm liking all the builds. Even this little basic rectangular building, you know, still serves a purpose and still looks looks really good. We should have a pet posting channel in your server so we can just spam pictures of our fur babies. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. That's probably something that uh, I'll get on. Uh, I'll get on right now. Stand by. Stand by, stand by. Uh, let's see. Let's see, new channel. Pets. And that's subject to change, too, when it comes to, like, the name of the channel. But right now, because yeah, it, it could either be fur babies or pets. I think it'll be fur babies at some point. But right now... The channel is now active. Spam away. Because not only do I like looking at your guys' builds, I do like animals. So I can't be disappointed when, uh, when you guys spam your pets in the channel. See, if you use crenellated, or if you use crenellated, the window will be larger, but still Yama framed. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I kind of like this half this half window look. I, I think if we do, use the crenellation, it won't look as good as this. I, I really like this look. So yeah, so now we got those four. Now we got to come up with, with more builds here. Like, what else do we do? Like, I need I need some more ideas. Cause I, what, what did you guys mention earlier? Apothecary. Let's do the apothecary. That, that'll work. Now let's see what we got here for buildings, just to kind of get an idea. Let's see, give me two seconds, guys. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Uh, open image and new tab. Okay, I got an idea. That'll work. Well, that's going to be interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to be able to pull that off. Okay, let's see here. Drag. Oh, I can't. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have to open up a... Oop, what am I doing? 
Let's see, I'm gonna have to drag you over here. Open this back up so I can actually see what you guys are saying. See, I like the new Stormglass top window in place of the square ones for the house windows. It looks similar, but it's so cute. Yes, I'm glad they added the window toppers. Definitely needed those for the Stormglass pieces because I just hated how they used to abruptly end. Those just looked horrible. See, that tower looks great. Photo bombs incoming. I have it on good authority that you really like cats. So I'll make sure to post thousands of cats pics in the new channel. So, uh... I guess it's the loophole for my uh, my uh, my laws of Shalebridge, because a cat that presents itself in Shalebridge uh, is a crime only punishable by death. So I'm not going to be able to do anything on Discord, unfortunately. So I so I, I guess you'll be able to get away with posting the cats there. All right, let's see, apothecary. So let's go. Yep. Yeah, okay. So that picture's already brought up. Perfect. We're gonna get we're gonna get wild with this build, guys. This is gonna be an interesting one because we're gonna have to man, how am I gonna do that actually? So we're gonna have to go this way. Oh, this is gonna be weird, guys. So that's gonna be open. Right? Now it's gonna go this way. Something like that. Yeah, this, this is going to be unique, guys. This is going to be really unique because we're going to have to... I don't even know if this is going to be doable. Let's see here. Because not only are... So we're going to have to add these corner pieces, but these corner pieces are going to be decorative corner pieces only just so it ties in with the, uh, the architecture of the city. What we're really going to do, we're going to have to offset this. Well, you guys are going to see here in a second. This is going to be... This is definitely going to be interesting. I hope this works. Because we're not going to overhang like uh, like we have been doing. And I don't even know if this is going to look good. We might just scrap it all together. But let's at least get these corner pieces in before I uh, make that determination here. All right. Okay, so we're going to go that, but here's the kicker. Uh, let's place my arena stuff in here first. We're going to offset it, but we're only going to offset it a half foundation. We're not going to move it over to the, uh, the corner. So we're only going to move it over here. So that means we're actually going to have to have pillars running through our... Oops. Running through our build. So then, from here, we can bring these out. You know, by a half. I don't know if I'm liking this, guys. But you know what? I was going to say, we're still experimenting, so let's, let's see what happens. But right now... Don't know if I'm liking this. There's just no room, especially for it being an apothecary. But who knows? We might be able to do something here. The reason why I'm only offsetting it like this is because we're gonna we're gonna add some stuff here uh, off to the side. But I don't know. Well, you know what? Rather than yeah. yeah. We're going to have to also add a decorative one coming down right here, too. Oops. Man, I'm just deleting everything. I'm trying to delete you. There you go. And that means we can open this up now. And then if we go like this. Oh, you know what? 
we got to first add more pillar trick. Yeah, this one's requiring a ton of pillar trick to get what I'm at least trying to get it to look like. Yeah, that'll work. Probably bring these up, bring this one up. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we're gonna have to get creative here. So we're gonna have to actually merge some, some pillars into some walls. So in order to do this, um, it has to be stable pillars and it has to be door frames. So you go door frames first in these spots. And then once the door frames are placed, you can come back through and you can add the Yamatai. The only issue with this is every time you play stuff, you run the risk of crashing your game. Looks like we're in the clear there, but yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes the game crashes, and by sometimes I mean all the time the game crashes when I try to do it. So I'm actually surprised that that didn't crash. So yeah, from here we can add the flooring. And then we can probably do, let's see, stable. Oh crap, we're gonna have to do, I think we might be able to get away with it just by doing it just for, by those ones. Okay, cool, we can. Cause I do not want to touch these pillars cause it did not crash the game and I do not want to, I don't want to gamble it any further. Uh, let's see, storm glass. I still don't know if this is gonna work out or if this is gonna look any good. So, let's see, lucked out there, lucked out there. Oh, didn't luck out there. Let's get that in place, that. Whipped around. And then let's get these. Oh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go stable. The strut for that. Let's close this off. I don't know, maybe this maybe this might look all right. It's kind of a small apothecary though, but I might be able to fit everything you you need, you know, for it in here. Let's see here. Already putting the pet channel to good use. Well, don't mind if I do. Let me see what we got going on here. Oh yeah. Oh dang, all you guys got all kinds of tiny tiny doggos and, and kittens. Oh yeah, this channel is definitely blowing up right now. <laughs> all right, let's see. I got to I got to stay on task right now. Let's see here. What Oh, you know what? I don't know how I'm going to Yeah, let's do this instead. Okay, so let's delete this. And you know what? We're gonna get we're gonna get a little more creative here. So we're gonna stay rather than on that to where we have to risk the glitch build. We're gonna get on uh We're gonna get on this level. So we're gonna build out here. quick there we go and then yeah, we can delete that uh, black ice yeah we'll just do this this will work now that'll, that'll open up a little bit more room. We don't have to run the risk of potentially freaking uh, glitching out our build or crashing our game. And I can 
actually add a strut down here. Yeah, so we're just basically flip-flopping from what the top layer was to the bottom layer. So now that that's all good, and then we can come in. This at least opens up the, uh, the top layer quite a bit, so we can actually fit like an alchemy bench, like kind of like in this area. And then, you know, we could just have some other crap and, you know, whatever the case may be. But I don't know. I don't know if I, st I, don't know if I like this still, but let's... I'm, I'm still rolling with it. Still rolling with it because, you know, we might be able to make this work. Well, let's see. Stable. Oh, yeah. Let's change out one of those. And let's see here. Where is storm glass i wish everything was in alphabetical order and, and most of it is but it's, it's just weird because you got like all this stuff up here and then i don't know it's all over the place Let's see that's good that's good ah, i couldn't get lucky with that one let's place the door put this around place that all right so now now we can actually get the roof to to actually link up to where i needed to uh, where I need it to go. So we can place these real fast. And like I said, I don't know if this is going to look good, but bear with me here another second or two. All right, let's see what this looks like with the, uh, the actual roof on. come down another good rule to live by is depending on what kind of roof piece that you want to use uh, the roof piece matches exactly whatever the ceiling piece is so if you have a square ceiling piece go with a square roof piece if you have a wedge piece go with a wedge piece roof piece so that that'll kind of give you guys an idea of what you you kind of need for uh, for the build I don't know. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? We could probably put, like, windows here. That might look all right. Do we got an apothecary sign? Let's see. Signs. We got the farm. What's this? Oh, alchemist. We do have an alchemist. Nice. Yeah, some of these signs I've, like, never used before. In all my decorating. Well, that's kind of neat. I feel like the alchemist needs a uh, needs a uh, a tower though. Maybe on maybe on this side we could have done like that tower, but like over here, where it was like meshed into the uh, the actual place. That might have looked that might have looked good. We can also add those, and then we can also do something like this again. So yeah, so you do have like a little storage spot and I don't know, you have you have just some room. But I might be able to move these back here so they're out of the way. Actually, you know what? Rather than talk about it, I keep on talking about it. It's like, why don't I just do it? So I can delete these now. Hopefully that didn't delete anything. Sure didn't. Okay, so now that those are out of the way, that opens up a little bit more space and you have like a little little thing here and then if we add a uh, a tower over here that'll add another one you know right there but i don't know i don't know if i like it i don't know if i like it it's definitely tiny definitely needs a tower though yeah that's what i'm thinking i think it definitely needs a tower on the other side so i might have to tear down this whole thing to set up a tower So you know what? Let's delete this. 
and rebuild it all over again. Because I think once I add the tower on the one end, I think it'll look alright. I don't think it'll look terrible. Alright, so... See, what are we doing stream wise stream for two hours okay so we're, we're we're starting to get up there so this might be this might be our maybe our last build we're experimenting with for the night because i can't believe we're already already at the two hour marker this has just gone by so fast like it's like holy crap all right let's see what we need these here I make the tower a hexagon. Yeah, that's what we're doing, right? Looks in line with the build. The alchemist bench will definitely fit in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like a smaller one would definitely fit. And then I, I think I got some, uh, some of the alchemist uh, furniture stuff too, so I can just kind of spice it up a little bit further to actually make it look like a legit, you know, alchemy, uh, legit alchemist building. All right, so we got that. Actually, oh, shoot. Oh, let's see. How am I going to work around that? I'm thinking, guys. Give me two seconds. I don't know if I'll be able to work around that. Unless I delete this. Oh, shoot. Let's add in our uh, fence foundations. Almost forgot to do that. Or actually, I shouldn't say almost forgot. Did forget. So now, because we're going to have to leave those, I would think. Those might just have to stay in the build. We're just, we're just going to have some random pillars just in our build. I wanted to say that was three wide. So let's get uh, let's get our decorative ones up and rolling. Actually, well, yeah. Well, no. Do I even need... Can I get away with not doing the decorative ones on the outside? You know, we've done it for all the other builds. We might as well do it for this one. All right, so now we can delete those. these placed. Let's see here. And actually now we can Yeah, that'll work. So now we just go with this. No, we don't go with that because because it's flipped. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So uh, so then that's wrong then too. Oh, geez, oh, Pete's. Is that wrong? This was requiring too much thinking, guys. Oh, you know what? Let's get the, let's get the top on real quick. So I have a better idea of what I'm doing. Let's go Numidian.
Barn, I don't like it. Also, Barn, poop's perfect building. It's okay. <laughs> it has to be perfect, guys. Because then that puts it... That puts it... Well, you know what? That might look cool with it being offset. You know what? Hold up. Hold the phone here. We might be on to something. Oh, we extend it back one too far. Shoot. I guess that works. I guess we got more, more room for the alchemist. So let's see. So we got... That pillar. We got those pillars. We'll just have to ignore those pillars through either decoration or or something. And so there's that, but then up here, oop, we're going with these ones. pillar trick i get so tired of the pillar trick guys it's not even funny it's like oh gosh i gotta do it another building there's just so many steps just to get you know just to get something to look good So we got this, so that's going to definitely be offset from the, uh, from the other side. So, yeah, we're, okay, yeah, that's going to, that might work. Let's see here. Let's add our little plants and whatnot, because I don't want to have to think about this whole thing. So this is kind of me taking a quick, a quick pause in thinking, so I can just place some, some plants down. Right. All right, let's see. So now we gotta go with these. That might still be a tower, so hold up. Hold the phone here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have room for alchemist stuff with this build now that I've extended it, you know, back one more. Now we can bring these up. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Stable. Oh I, can, oh, I can fit a wall through here. Nice. Please don't crash. Ooh. Lucked out on that. Alright, so... see stable let's add our strut there now we need to do another strut down here yeah that'll work that'll work this kind of looks a little jank but we can kind of hide that with uh with some decorations and whatnot but uh yeah there's definitely enough space ah oh, man i just don't know Yeah, we're going to have to go with it. Yeah, hold hold up. One second, guys. I don't like how these are how these are angled. So, we're going to change these up real quick. I think it's just about as easy as placing stairs and going straight down. Oh yeah, sure is. These might look better on the walls. Now that they're not just kind of like uh, tilted a little bit. 
see what this looks like. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, we need, yeah, because I don't think I can even, oh, I can, perfect. Okay, that works. So now, oop, I'm gonna build this up a little bit more. And then, yeah, we're gonna try to do something like that. I wonder if I can go, this might look a little jank, but I think we're gonna have to do that. It doesn't look half bad, actually. Oop. Oh, come on. It's gonna be like a little storage, storage space or something. I don't know. So yeah, so we got the tower added on there. No, just add one to the back. What are you talking about, Willis? No. All right, you're gonna have to just, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm freaking out right now. Let's see. Let's see, while you're trying to explain that, I'm gonna do this one real quick. Cause I know that this one's right. Oh crap, here I am. Forgot to move my mic back. So I probably sounded weird there for a while. Jeez, oh Pete, you guys should have said something. <laughs> scrub move. It wouldn't be a bargain stream without me doing at least one scrub move, uh, scrub move a stream. That's what I'm trying to say here. There we go. And we got that tower on that end. We're going to go up even higher. And I think with this, okay, so before we do anything, we're going to have to add this stuff in real quick because we have to have a roof because for whatever reason, the roof pieces won't glitch through a wall piece, but a wall piece will glitch through a roof piece. So you like, you know, you can get certain things to go a certain way, but you got to, you know, it, it all depends on uh, the placement position let's see here That might be a cool texture. Can I put a... Oh, I sure can. Nice. Okay, so now that that's placed, we can place these in here. Actually, you know what? I think it might look cool if we change it up a little bit for this one. And just go the stable wall piece. How did you get those wedges to be in the center of the squares? What do you mean, like right here? Oh, like where it's like offset? It's offset because of how we offsetted uh, the whole build itself. So like the bottom floor is one thing, and then you know how we offset it? We just placed the stair piece one and then a pillar underneath it. So we pillar tricked it, but instead of pillar tricking to the corner, we pillar tricked to the edge. So that that's how you that's how you offset the whole thing. But yeah, that might that might be all right. That looks all right. We 
can get away with it, guys. So I'm just going to kind of delete these and just hope nobody, pay, you know, notices. Just because I don't like how there's that little, that little lip uh, with the overhang of that. But uh, this might work. This might work. All right, so now place these, same thing. We're gonna add, uh, we're gonna add the same topper. Oop. The same topper as uh, what we had uh, for the one house. All right, let's see. What do I need? I need stable. Oh, shoot. Might be able to get away with just changing just three of them out, hopefully. Okay, perfect. It's like, I don't want to change all of them out. It's like, the less placement, the better. Okay. We get lucky with the right facing uh, windows. Nope, that's not working. Oh crap, placed that in the wrong thing. Darn it. That's not what I want. There we go. Now let's try this again. That's the right way. So that one's wrong. That one's right. That one's wrong. That one's right. Okay, so we got three of them that are wrong. That'll work. Green Ranger, I enjoyed watching the stream. Good night, Barden and chat. Hey, good night, Green Ranger. And you're probably not going to miss a whole lot more because uh, once I'm done with this, I'm probably going to be calling it as well because we're in the three-hour marker. I wasn't expecting to be streaming for this long. You know, I, I didn't think I was going to be able to do a Let's Build uh, stream with, you know, for like in three hours i thought i was gonna do like a like two hours i didn't think there's gonna be that much content here for this but it's like holy cow it's like looked over at the time it's like man i have been just knocking these builds out i've lost track of time but i appreciate it ranger for uh for actually spending some time in here and hanging with us you should some lights in the towers yeah i could probably do that that wouldn't be a half bad idea. All the distractions. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, what do you think? Yay or nay? You know, of course we're going to have to decorate it, so you know what? Before I say yay or nay, let's... Get some signs going. Let's see. Signs. I know there's an apothecary because I've seen it. There it is. Alchemist. All right. So now we need a good name for the alchemist. Place that there for right now. In the meantime, add some more decorations. I like it a lot more now. The towers was what was missing. Agreed. Agreed. And I think it's kind of cool with like the offset of towers too. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely 100% agree. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad. That kind of blends in well with all the other... Uh, all the other builds. Oh, you know what? Here we go. <laughs> See, do we do the other side? Do we do all these? Yeah, those are all good. But yeah, I'm, I'm really liking how the alchemist turned out. I didn't know what, what I would think because I was hoping, you know, I I, I didn't know if over only hang, uh, overhang just this side rather than, than both sides. 
But that doesn't look terrible, so you know what? We'll go with it. Liquid Incantations is the name. Uh, I don't know. I think that's. I think that's too. I think that's too long of a uh, of a name. That'd be a mouthful. We we want something a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more shorter. And you know what? We could also go like for decorations. Uh, let's see, tents. And like even just like around like this. I don't know, something like that. I like that a lot, guys. That'll work. Add some flags and call it a day. We're going to center these flags up, too. Elder potions, perhaps. I like it. I like it. Weed Incorporated. Turtle pots. But yeah, guys, I, and adding those tents to it just brings it out even more. I really like how that turned out, actually. That is so cool. So, yep, so we got our next build. Oh, you know what? I was going to say we could probably, to separate, uh, let's see. To kind of still keep with the, uh, the, the town architecture. Add these in here as well. Am I going to be able to get away? Oh, I'm going to have to fly inside. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. Looks good. I'm just going to have to remember to, uh, to place those uh, first when I actually do the actual build in-game. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely big enough for an apothecary. We might be able to fit... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to fit the big one. But, well, we might be able to. Let's see here. Uh, crafting stations. Alchemy. Precision alchemist bench. Oh, you know what, guys? This is definitely... We can definitely fit it. Nice. And then we can even do, like, an alchemy bench over here. Perfect. Yep. This will work. And this turned out really good. I, I like it. Look at that, guys. That is so awesome. That blends in perfectly with with the theme of our of our city. And heck, I might even be able to take one of these and add it to like a, a, a small filler house like that too. You know, so you know these could be fully customizable and everything. But you know this might be a good uh, this might be like a good channel card. Just, just these buildings, just uh, let's build. Uh, Medieval themed buildings. Liquid shell is a good one. Arcanum. That one's pretty cool too. Yeah, there's there's quite a few quite a few good ones in there. But yeah, guys, I think uh because we're in the three hour marker, and I think we've accomplished a lot tonight. This definitely has given me quite a bit to to record. And you know, I'm I'm just dreading having to go through and actually record these. <laughs> But, yeah, these, I think all of these buildings are definitely going to make it into, uh, into the actual video. But, uh, but yeah, guys, I, I, just so I'm not having to drag this out any longer, this stream, I, I think I'm going to call it. Let's see, maybe make some market stalls in front. You know, and I could, I could definitely do that too. I think, you know, here, here I am getting ready to call it and here I am getting ready to decorate some more. Uh, I think the market stall is found in here maybe, maybe not. Oh, it's under tents. I can even add stuff like... Oh, jeez. The overhang's kind of obstructing. I could probably go the market stall the other... The other way in like a round. And I wonder if you could die. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing for that. That's unfortunate. see. I don't know. There'll probably be a market in town as well. 
But I don't know. This is definitely a good start, and it's definitely given me some buildings to work with. So like I said, I'm hoping to have the build uh, done by Monday. But, you know, we'll see. But uh, let's see. Long day tomorrow. Going to hit the hay. Good night. All right, good night, Talos. Yeah, I'm probably going to be wrapping up here in the next minute or two as well. But I, I appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us. I think you've been here for most of the stream, too. That's You know, you guys are crazy. Like, I don't know how you guys can sit here and watch me out of all people, you know, for hours on end. But uh, I, I, I do appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, with that said, guys, I think I'm going to call it. Um, let's see. It's Friday. I think I'm going to do one more stream Sunday. And then uh, I might take a week break. And then I think I'm going to get on to a, like a, new streaming, uh, a new streaming schedule. But you guys will probably know more Sunday. Because, you know, I'm going to have to think. I'm going to have to sit down and think about what, uh, what I want to do. But I'll, I'll let you guys know more Sunday. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, plan on for next week, though. Definitely plan on me uh, taking the week off streaming. I'm still probably going to push out YouTube content, but I think I'm going to enjoy a couple of my days off. So <laughs> I'll. Uh, with that said, guys, I'll talk to you all later.